Live from the Maverick Center in West Valley City, it's Utah Grizzlies hockey. As it's the middle game of a three-game series between the Grizzlies and the Rapid City Rush. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Grizzlies Hockey. I'm Tyson Whiting here with Guy Carenza. Face-offs in about 20 minutes from now as the Grizzlies take on the Rush. Here in the middle game of a three-game set, the Grizzlies have a record of 17-20-1, but they've been red hot here in the month of January. They've got a record of 6-3-1. They're taking on a Rapid City team that's been pretty good in the month of January of their own with a record of 5-3-1. On Wednesday night, two evenings ago, the Grizzlies got a 3-1 victory as Trent Miner stopped 31 of 32. Grizzlies got one goal and one assist from Andrew Nilsson. Cameron Wright eventually got the game winner 16 minutes into the second period. Wright leads the Grizzlies with six game-winning goals this season. And the Grizzlies also got a third-period empty net goal from Brandon Cutler. As the Grizzlies, once again, were perfect on the penalty kills. They were 5-for-5. Five five. And Utah, over the last 11 games, are 46-48 of 48 on the penalty kill. So it should be a lot of fun here tonight. Good crowds file it in here. If you're in the West Valley area, come on down and enjoy some Grizzlies hockey with us. If not, we got the game on Flow Sports and audio on YouTube. Your home's for Grizzlies hockey all season long. And don't forget that Saturday is going to be Guns and Hoses night. The ever popular Guns and Hoses night with two charity games starting at 1 o'clock. And the second charity game is going to start at about 2.30. And then the Grizzlies will take on the rush at 7.10. But it's going to be a lot of fun. Now, remember, if you got a ticket to the Grizzlies game on Saturday, that is good to get you into the charity games. The doors for the charity games will open up at noon. And then the first game will be at 1 o'clock, and those are very spirited games, the charity games. Uh, the second one in particular gets very spirited and heated. So I think it's going to be a lot of fun here tomorrow at Maverick Center as we got a great weekend. The Grizzlies are wearing specialty jerseys tomorrow. They wore those same specialty jerseys for warm-ups tonight, and that's going to be a pretty sharp look. And those jerseys will be auctioned off on the Dash Auction app. So make sure, go, just make sure to go to the Dash Auction app and bid on those Grizzlies Guns and Hoses jerseys. I think they're actually the bidding is going to start tomorrow and make sure to bid on those game worn jerseys. It's going to be a lot of fun here tonight. How many times have I mentioned the word fun here in the first segment, guy? Quite a bit. You know why? Because we're going to have some fun here tonight and tomorrow and then next week when the Allen Americans will be in town. Yeah, Tyson, you, you said fun for a reason. It's going to be a lot of fun here at the Maverick Center. When we come back to the Grizzlies pregame report, we'll talk with Guy Krenzen, get his thoughts on. What's going to happen here tonight at Maverick Center as the Grizzlies look to extend their winning streak to three games. They take on the Rapid City Rush for the seventh time this season. Utah's 3-2-1 and one against the Rush this year. We're in business on a Friday night. You're listening to the Grizzlies pregame show presented by America First Credit Union. If you're out driving and something happens to your car, truck, or even wheelchair, and you end up stuck at a rail crossing, it's going to be okay. Don't panic. Here's what you do. Get out if you can and look for this blue sign on the metal pole. Call the number on the blue sign, and when they answer, tell them the crossing number. The number is right here. This tells them the exact location of the crossing. This is the fastest way to get trains stopped before coming through the crossing. Look for the blue. It helps you. I live for my next goal. Whether it's another pick six or another step forward in life, I wouldn't be who I am without the drive to reach it. And I wouldn't be where I am without my team. Everyone on and off the field who supports me and believes in my dreams as much as I do. Whatever your goals are, surround yourself with people who are going to help you reach toward them. Like my friends at America First and see where life takes you. Welcome back to Utah Grizzlies Hockey. I'm Tyson Whiting here with Guy Carenza as we're live on a Friday night here in a dark Maverick Center. And Guy, the Grizzlies got a... 3-1 to one victory on Wednesday, once again led by Trent Miner, who stopped 31 of 32 and a great penalty kill performance for the Grizzlies, who went 5-for-5. Five five. The guy, I think it's going to be an interesting night here because Rapid City does bring back Ilya Nikolaev, who spent some time in the AHL with the Calgary Club, the Calgary Wranglers, and so just a little bit more firepower for Rapid City. But for the Grizzlies last uh, on last Wednesday, is Cameron Wright and Andrew Nelson once again getting it done for Utah. Nelson leads the club with seven multiple-point games this season, and Wright leads the Grizzlies with 
six game-winning goals. Yeah, Tyson, and you mentioned the Grizzlies' win on Wednesday night. It was a full-team effort. Miner play, played a really good game, and the Grizzlies' special team shines. And I think in a game that was really fast-paced, really back and forth, that came down to the transition game, uh, it was Cameron Wright with his goal off the transition uh, that helped the Grizzlies to victory. So I look for that to be a factor here again in the transition game. And special teams is also going to play a big factor in a game where two teams play a similar play style and are evenly matched. Jordan Martell has been outstanding for the Grizzlies as of late. He'll be in the starting lineup for Utah. And you also think about Dylan Fitz. You know, Fitz has five goals in his last nine games. And really, I think that when you think about the depth of the Rapid City forwards, I think it is important for the Grizzlies, all three forward lines, to contribute tonight. Yeah, Tyson, and the Grizzlies have done a really good job of doing that over the last couple of games. I think it started back the last time that we saw Rapid City where it seemed like all three Grizzlies lines started to click. Uh, that first line has a lot of really good chemistry between Cutler, uh, Penner, and Pfizer. And then I really like the Grizzlies' third line. Uh, they're really good at driving to the net, and they get those goals when you need them. And I think Cam Strong and Dylan Fitz – uh, have been a really good pairing with Jordan Martell. All three of those guys together, whenever they're in the offensive zone, they just seem to be creating scoring chances and magic starts to happen. And I like that Dylan Fitz and Cam Strong have been getting to the net and creating a net front presence. So uh, all three Grizzlies forward lines are running right now, and uh, the Grizzlies are hot. It's a big game in the standings. If you think about it, the Grizzlies just two points behind Kansas City for a time for fourth place, and that you know, obviously is important because – Fourth place is a playoff spot, and fifth place isn't. So you obviously want to be in position for a playoff spot. Obviously, we still got a lot of season left to go, but you think about the Grizzlies, 34 games left starting tonight, and 21 of them are going to be here at Maverick Center, especially against a team like Rapid City, who is in a playoff spot if the playoffs start today. They'd be the three seed. So you're facing a good team here at home. You want to make sure you take care of home ice and return to the 500 mark. If you're at home as the Grizzlies are 7-8 and eight at home this season. Yeah, Tyson, and you mentioned these games being big. Uh, they're huge. Now we're towards the end of January, and this is the time of the year where you start to really look at the standings and say, okay, well, how are we going to fit into the playoffs here? And the Grizzlies are playing really good hockey right now. And so these games against the Rush are critical. The Grizzlies need to win these games. And I really felt like Wednesday's game had a playoff-type atmosphere. These are two really good teams that play similar styles of game. Uh, and they're both really good at doing what they do. Now, that being said, I, I think that the Grizzlies have a really good shot at making the playoffs as their schedule has eased up in the second half of the season. And as you mentioned, we have a lot of games here at Maverick Center. And a lot of home games. And remember, the Grizzlies were an outstanding home club last season, winning the division title for the first time in team history. Who's your pick to click tonight? Uh, Tyson, I'm going to go with Dakota Ravy. This is a guy that only has a couple of assists over his last nine games, but he's really been visible uh, as far as making offensive plays happen. He uses a lot of speed. He's a very fast player, and I think that's going to be the key in beating the Rapid City Rush is using your speed off the transition. Look for a guy like Dakota Ravy to make a big impact. Interesting goaltending matchup tonight. Trent Miner will get the start for the Grizzlies. He'll be going up against Daniil Chechelev. It was Adam Carlson on Wednesday. Carlson has played pretty well in the month of January. Chechelev has been a workhorse for Rapid City. It's already his 30th game of the season. So he's appeared in 30 of Rapid City's 41 games. He's got a record of 16, 10, and 1. It's his second year as a pro. He spent last season with Kansas City. So I think for the Grizzlies, you know, they've seen Chechelev a few times here this season, and they just got to find a way to get traffic out in front of the net. And it's not really that the goals, the necessarily the number of goals the Grizzlies are getting, but how they're scoring them. And they find a way to get in front of the net there on Chechelev and make life tough on them. Yeah, Tyson, I think to, to add to that, I think, like I said before, guys like Dylan Fitz and Cam Strong do a really good job of doing that. I've seen Tyler Penner do it, too, where they go out and they might make life really tough for the goalie, make it hard for them to see pucks, get deflections out in front, uh, maybe pot in a rebound if he lets it in. So I think just for the Grizzlies to have a net front presence, I think that'll go a long way in, in winning this game. Who's your pick to click tonight? Uh, I'm going to go with Dakota Raby. I just on Twitter a couple minutes ago said Dakota Raby, so I guess we both have to go with Raby tonight. I guess we got to double down. Yeah, looks like Guy Morgan's also picking Dakota Raby as his pick to click, and looks like Ruane's picking Tyler Penner, and looks like Penner's due, according to her. Peach Fuzz 27's picking Trent Miner. Nick Hayes actually came by Section 114 and told us it was Cameron Wright that was his pick to click, and so everybody make your pick to click on the live chat on the YouTube feed as to who's going to be the player of the game. For the Grizzlies this evening, Cameron Wright certainly a popular pick because, after all, you think about the 10 games in the month of January, he's got eight goals and two assists, and it just seems like you're over the last month, month and a half, really starting 
uh, by playing a couple good games against Idaho in late December, you know, he seems to be that consistent force for the Grizzlies that they certainly need there at the top of the top of the lineup. Yeah, Tyson, he's been really uh, it's good to see him turn his game into what he's turned it into. And uh, this is a guy that I think if the Grizzlies are going to make a deep playoff run and push for the playoffs, I think he's going to be a big factor in that. When we come back to the America First Credit Union pregame show, we'll give you the lineups for both teams. It's the Grizzlies and the Rush meeting for the seventh time this season on the Grizzlies Hockey Network. Maverick's new Bean to Cup machines always deliver a freshly ground cup of coffee on demand so you can enjoy any of our premium roasts at their best, day or night, hot or ice. Enjoy a fresh cup today. Welcome back to Maverick Center. I'm Tyson Whiting here with Guy Karenz, the starting lineup for the Utah Grizzlies, led by second-year head coach Ryan Kanaswich. They've got a record of 17-20-1 this season. And that's going to be Trent Miner, the shutout king. He's got nine shutouts in the Grizzlies uniform, which is the all-time record. He has a 7-10-1 record with a 9-17 state percentage. Remember, his last five games, though, Trent Miner has a record of 4-0-1 with a 1.18 goals against average and 9-70 save percentage. That's right. He's 195 of 201 on saves over his last five games. Starting defensive pairing, Corey Thomas, who's 6'5 and 215 pounds. He has three assists in 27 games. And the captain, Connor McDonald, who has two goals and seven assists in 35 games. Starting forwards for the Grizzlies, Dylan Fitz has five goals in his last nine games. He has eight goals and five assists in 38 games this year. Cam Strong has six goals and two assists in 36 games. He'll be in there. And the Rooster, Jordan Martell. We're not sure about the origins of his nickname, but we do know he is the Rooster. Martell this season in 20 in 30 games with two different clubs has four goals and 14 assists. He's, all four of his goals this season have come in a Grizzlies uniform. Scratches for the Grizzlies tonight. Defenseman Joey Kulatarsi and Jordan Stone as well as forwards Johnny Walker, Zach Sekos, Christian Simeone, and Vladislav Mikalchuk. Grizzlies are going with 10 forwards and 7 defensemen tonight. Kyle Pouncey is going to be acting as a forward. He'll be the 10th forward for the Grizzlies this evening. Starting in net for the Rapid City Rush will be Danil Chechelev. He's got a record of 16-10 and 10 with 16-10-1 with a 3.34 goals against average and 902 save percentage. Starting defenseman. Tyson Helgeson, two goals and five assists in 35 games. He'll be paired up with Colton Leader. Leader is acting as a defenseman tonight. He'll be wearing number 45. Starting forwards, Calder Brooks has 15 goals and 12 assists this season. Matt Marsnow is the leading scorer for Rapid City. He's got 40 points this year. And Ilya Nikolaev was just sent to the rush from the AHL's Calgary Wranglers. Nikolaev is 21 years old. He's got an NHL entry-level deal with the Calgary Flames. He's a native of Russia, former third-round pick in 2019 of the Calgary Flames. Grizzlies tonight are wearing the white jerseys with black numbers and professional green trim. Rapid City wearing the same jersey they wore on Wednesday night, a black jersey with white letters, white numbers, and a little bit of red mixed in. When we come back here in three minutes, we'll have a face-off here at Maverick Center as it's the Grizzlies and the rush, Guns and Hoses night will be tomorrow as the Grizzlies. Yeah. And Wally, the longtime season ticket holder, it passed away. And moment of silence for Wally. We love all our Grizzly supporters. And obviously with it being Guns and Hoses weekend, we're celebrating our police officers and firefighters locally. Two charity games tomorrow. As now Grizzlies are honoring those who have served. As those who have served are standing up and they're getting recognized here by the Maverick Center crowd. As Grizzlies love our armed forces and veterans. 
When we come back, we'll face off here at Maverick Center. It's the Grizzlies and the Rush coming up next on the Grizzlies Hockey Network presented by America First Credit Union. When you pay with the Nitro card at Maverick, you always save 10 cents or more on fuel every gallon, every day. And you could save a whole lot more thanks to Nitro Best Price. Pick up a Nitro card and upgrade your Adventure Club account today. I live for my next goal. Whether it's another pick six or another step forward in life, I wouldn't be who I am without the drive to reach it. And I wouldn't be where I am without my team. Everyone on and off the field who supports me and believes in my dreams as much as I do. Whatever your goals are, surround yourself with people who are going to help you reach toward them. Like my friends at America First and see where life takes you. Maverick's new Bean to Cup machines always deliver a freshly ground cup of coffee on demand so you can enjoy any of our premium roasts at their best, day or night, hot or iced. Enjoy a fresh cup today. If you're out driving and something happens to your car, truck, or even wheelchair, and you end up stuck at a rail crossing, it's going to be okay. Don't panic. Here's what you do. Get out if you can and look for this blue sign on the metal pole. Call the number on the blue sign, and when they answer, tell them the crossing number. The number is right here. This tells them the exact location of the crossing. This is the fastest way to get trains stopped before coming through the crossing. Look for the blue. Expectations here will always remain high and we'll continue to find a way. You guys put together a lot of good games, you know. Great night for hockey as two big standings points are on the line tonight as the Grizzlies take on the Rapid City Rush for the seventh time this season. Grizzlies have a record of 5 2 3 2 and 1 against Rapid City this year, and they've got maybe the hottest goaltender in all of professional hockey in net as Trent Miner over his last five games is a 970 save percentage and a record of 4 0 and 1. A guy that's been unbelievable watching Trent Miner and net for the Grizzlies here in the month of January. Yeah, Tyson, it's been unbelievable. What a crazy run that he's on right now. But it's really fun. It's fun to watch Trent Miner play because he plays with so much confidence. I, on Wednesday, we saw him stop two, maybe three breakaways, and he didn't even bat an eye. He followed him all the way, read him like a book. And it's just so much fun to watch Trent play right now. The ECHL fan of the year, Jake, just dropped the ceremonial puck drop there. At center ice, good to see Jake. He's wearing a jersey. It's number 12, Jake the Snake. He's on the back of his jersey, and it's good to see Jake here in attendance. I actually see him every now and then uh, in the suite next to us over there in section 113. And his Grizzlies will take on the rush here for the second of a three-game series. Don't forget the Guns and Hoses night will be tomorrow, and it's gonna it's an all-day thing here. Two charity games starting at 1 o'clock, and the second one at 2.30, and then the Grizzlies take on the rush at 7.10. Kenton Helgeson, the Rapid City captain, and Connor McDonald uh, at center ice where the puck drops as 
We got a we got a fun night of hockey, and if it's anything like what we saw on Wednesday, we're going to have an aesthetically pleasing game between really two good teams. Oh, for sure, Tyson. I think every time we've seen Rapid City, that's pretty much the style of play that we see. So I think we're in for another good one. And so if, just to add to that, if you haven't already gotten your tickets for uh, for Saturday, Guns and Hoses, get them right now because it looks like we're going to have another fun game on our hands. But it really is a pleasing style of hockey to watch. It's really back and forth, a lot of action. And it's just, it's just really fun to watch. Starting forwards for the Grizzlies will be Dylan Fitz, Cam Strong, and the Rooster, Jordan Martell. The starting offensive pairing is Corey Thomas and the captain, Connor McDonald. Trent Miner is in net as the Grizzlies wear, are wearing the white jerseys with black numbers and professional green trim. Rapid City wearing a black jersey tonight with white numbers, white lettering, red or black R with a little bit of gold mixed in, and red kind of mixed in stripes all across the jerseys, two stripes on the forearms. Two referees tonight, Tyler Haskell and Riley Brace. The two linesmen are Tyler Keston and Andrew Collins. As Ryan Kanaswich, the second-year head coach of the Grizzlies, looks on. Rapid City is led by second-year head coach Scott Burt. As one of the referees has the puck at center ice, it's dropped and we're underway as Rapid City gets the face off. Marshall gets it poked away by Thomas. It goes towards center ice as Strong will bounce it off the far boards. Rapid City gets it. They're skating from left to right as we see it from high atop section 114. As Colton Leader will bounce it off the skate, and Roy Karens dumps it in. Miner cuts it off behind his net. He'll get it to Corey Thomas, 20 seconds into the game. Grizzly skate from right to left. Thomas over to Strong. Strong gets it out to the Rapid City territory, picked off by the rush, and Tyson Helgeson will move it ahead. Now it goes back to Colton Leader on the rush zone. He'll feed it out to center ice for Calder Brooks. He steps over the red line and dumps it in. McDonald around the net, gets it back towards the near side for Dylan Fitz, who's got an A on his sweater. James Sure, the other alternate captain, Connor McDonald's wearing the C as Fitz dumps it in. Chechilev will feed it back towards the near corner. Chechilev's glove side is his right and his stick side is his left. As the rush around the net, Quinn Wickers is a big guy at 6'4", 215. He's in the far corner. He'll feed it across to Carter Robertson. He's a plus nine this season. Robertson gains the red line at center ice, skates in, and dumps it as he crossed the offensive blue line. Andrew Nilsson, the number one star on Wednesday, pins it over towards Tyler Penner. Penner has his pass deflected by Rapid City. Goes back towards Strong. Now the Grizzlies will start the attack. As Penner crosses center ice, he'll dump it towards Chechilev. He will stop it with his ankle and he'll feed it to the far corner. Taron Pfizer gets over to Cutler, all but the pass is just wide of the mark. Goes to Ilya Nikolaev, who was just sent over from Calgary in the AHL earlier today. As Alex Aliardi dumps it in. Nilsson gets the puck a minute and a half in, still no score. Grizzlies, one shot, Rapid City's yet to take one. As Cutler trying to get around a skater and taking it away is Ryan Zulsdorf. He'll dump it over towards Max Cotto, who's got five goals in his last three games against Utah. Puck spins towards the left point, stays in as that court got hit pretty hard. Court skates towards the far corner as he battles with Victor Bartley. Uh, that's court trying to center it, and Nilsson throws it back towards the end wall. Now goes back over to Bartley, pitches over to Cameron Wright. Wright had a goal. On Wednesday night, turned out to be the game winner. He'll feed it to the far corner for Victor Bartley, who will bounce it off the glass. Stays in the Grizzlies zone far side as Court gets it ahead. Now the whistle blows, and a hand pass is called. 17.52 left here in the first. Tyson, we're already seeing a lot of physicality to start this game, and I think that's carryover from what we saw on Wednesday night. Uh, I think if you're the Grizzlies, I think it's fine if you come out and set a physical tone, but you don't want to take any penalties against this Rapid City team. Draw comes out to neutralize near the Grizzlies bench. Fans still filing in here in the middle game, and we're just getting underway, so sit back, relax, and enjoy this one. As this is one of the best rivalries in the league as Rapid City wins the draw, crosses center ice, and dumps it into the corner. It bounced off the boards on no hops as Aaron Thoe feeds it ahead. Jamison over to Rabu gets hit pretty hard by Carter Robertson. Puck glides towards Chechilev, and it's taken by Quinn Wickers. He's got good speed for a 6'4 guy. He'll throw it out to center ice. Could have been icing, but it bounced off the linesman. So the Grizzlies chase after it as Utah feeds it ahead. Raby skates back into his own zone in the near side. Raby in the corner avoids a check, trying to move it ahead. Got picked off by Marsh. No, who feeds it back to Rory Karens, a 20-year-old over to Robertson. And he'll take a lefty shot from the right point that goes wide as Cam Strong will nudge it ahead towards Raby, but the pass goes back to Quinn Wickers at center ice for Rapid City. Now Robertson to the right side, crosses center ice and spins it around the boards. It glances off Miner's stick, goes to the Rooster Martell, spins it back towards the right corner for McDonald. Connor, the Grizzlies captain, wearing number five, second season in a Grizzlies uniform, moves ahead to Martell, leads it across to Cutler. Cutler over to Strong at the Utah Blue Line, back to Cutler. Cutler's got to go in back-to-back games, moves ahead to Strong, but the pass is incomplete. 
And no ice, no as Rapid City will get the puck and they'll feed it out to neutralize. Keegan Iverson, the former Rangers draft pick, skates down the middle. Here's off to the right circle, takes a shot, kick saved by Miner. Now the rush. Get it back up top as they'll fire a shot from the left point, save. Now another shot, and that's blocked by Strong as Martel carries it out to neutralize. He'll nudge it ahead to Fitz. Fitz. Lose the puck as Olsdorf took it away from him. He'll feed it over to Neutrice near the Rapid City bench. The rush cross center. Zach Court dumps it in. Court this season has two goals and three assists in 30 games. Grizzlies have it deep in their own zone, and it's Brandon Cutler who spent earlier uh, parts of the season with Belleville and Hartford in the AHL. He throws it out to center ice for Pfizer. It bounces off of his stick, goes to Shearer. Back to Nilsson. We'll move it ahead to Penner. Penner gains the blue line, centers it over to Cutler. Cutler with a shot, didn't get much on as he got back checked by Logan Nelson. Nelson with the puck. He's had a good season, 32 points in 35 games. He'll feed it over to the far side. Nikolaev, number seven, throws it between his legs to Aliardi. Two on two, Aliardi skates in. Left side, he'll veer off to the right. And he'll drop it off. Leader with a shot, and it's blocked by Pfizer. Like Pfizer's hurt as he's on two knees. Hopefully he gets back up. As a rush in the far, goal, far corner, as Pfizer's still on two knees, and the puck deflects off the stick, flies into the Rapid City zone, and play is stopped as Terran Pfizer... Very slow to get to his feet, and the trainer, Colin Lee, will rush out to see if he's okay as Pfizer is going to skate towards the bench area rather slowly as he blocked the shot lower body, and it looks like it's smarting a little bit on him. Yeah, Tyson, I mean, that's something you never want to see, and he took a really hard shot there. It seems like he's still in some pain. Hopefully it's not too bad, uh, but this is, comes at an unfortunate time where the Grizzlies are finally just starting to get healthy. Well, face off at center ice, and unfortunately, Pfizer has to get help towards the locker room. He's second on the team with 10 goals this season. As Rapid City gets the puck, they cross center ice. Quinn Wickers carries into Marshall and gets blasted by Jamison. Now left circle shot saved by Miner, and the net gets dislodged. And as the shot was taken by Rapid City's Calder Brooks, and Miner was just trying to protect the front side. The net came loose. 15-15 yeah, left in the first, still no score. Yeah, Tyson, Miner was just going side to side. He ends up just running into the net. But a good save there. He's already made three saves in this game. He's going to have to be sharp again if the Grizzlies want to win. Rapid City has outshot Utah 3-1 to one here so far as we're just getting underway. Remember to go to the Grizzlies team store for the latest guns and hoses apparel. Guy and I need to do that here sometime tomorrow. we got to get over to the team store and get our Get, get some guns and hoses gear, get some other Grizzlies gear, and give them to our families and give them to ourselves, really. As Grizzlies with the draw, as Raby throws it out towards center ice and into the rush zone, no icing as Carter Robertson chases after it as we're about five minutes into this contest. Still no score. Rapid City's outshot Utah 3-1. to one. As Robertson now to neutralize, will feed it ahead to Brooks. He'll throw a right wing pass to Marshall. He winds and fires, and the shot goes wide. Thomas might have gotten a stick on the puck. As goes out to center ice, looking for Raby. It glances off a rush stick. Marshno gets hit by Raby as he goes back to Robertson, who's been active early on. Over to Matt Marshno's leading score for the rush. He'll skeet down the middle. They're off to the right. Gets to the right point. Takes a righty shot. Glove saved by Miner. Trent holds on. 14-37 left in the first. As rush about shot the Grizzlies 4-1. to one. And think about the shot counts this season. Rapid City averages 34.6 shots per game. They allow 33.6. Four. The Grizzlies this season have taken 28.6 shots per game. And they've allowed 35.1. The shots on Wednesday were even at 32 apiece. Draws in the near circle. Cam Strong against Zach Court. It's won by Rapid City. Coda was looking for a shot. And he got poked away by Kyle Pouncey. He's playing forward tonight. As the puck goes back to Pouncey, he'll feed it back to Nilsson. Nilsson over to Pouncey. Pouncey. Second year with the Grizzlies, so move it ahead towards Strong. Strong dumps it in, as looks like Dylan Fitz will be moving out on, uh, up, out, up a line to replace Pfizer. This goes back to neutralize. Strong gets it back to Nilsson. Nilsson will skate towards the near side. He leads the Grizzlies in assist with 22. He'll move it ahead to the right point. Grizzlies skate in, but the whistle blows as Utah is offside with 14.05 left in the first. So without Pfizer, as he had to be helped out to the locker room, hopefully he'll be okay as he blocked the shot. It looks like Dylan Fitz is taking Pfizer's spot on his line with Penner and Cutler. Yeah, Tyson, I mean, I think the theme for the Grizzlies so far this season has just been a next-man-up mentality. So if Terran Pfizer is out, it's going to be Dylan Fitz. He's going to have to step up and be that guy. That three-man forward unit's on the ice right now as it goes out to neutralize. Rapid City gets it as the rush. We'll move it into Grizzlies territory. Tamped off a stick and flies into the Grizzlies zone as Roy Karens. I oh, tried to nudge it ahead. Great pass. Iverson almost collided with his teammate Lucas Fuke. 
Grizzlies will ricochet off the near boards as Cutler gets over to Fitz at center ice, but it's cut off by Lucas Fuke, who's a good defensive forward. As Rapaseal will bounce it off the near glass, goes back to Bartley at the Utah blue line. Puck lifts in the air and hits Penner in the back of the head. It's Rapid City. Uh, looks like a big hit delivered by Penner. Play starting to get physical here, six and a half minutes in. Grizzlies move it to the left side. Cutler has a glance off his stick and flies into the rush zone. As Puck goes back over to Tyler Penner, right point moves ahead to Martin. Martin across to Cutler, but Cutler couldn't accept the pass. He got hit in the shoulder. Rush get the puck as Ali already crosses center ice, three on three. He gets around Cutler, toe drag shot, saved by Miner. Rebound goes out to the left point. Rapid City in the left circle. As Nikolaev, who's a slick puck handler. So he'll feed it to Aliardi, who's sporting a beard. He'll skate towards his right. He'll take a righty shot, and it's blocked in front of Miner, about 15 feet in front of him. As he goes back to the right circle. As Rapid City gets it, Nelson with a shot, saved by Miner. Goes back over to Cutler. He'll feed it to Neutrice. It bounces off of Nelson and goes over to Carter Robertson. Right wing pass to Nikolaev, who steps over the offensive line. Nikolaev gets tripped up, and it's going to be a penalty on Aaron Thoe. Rapsy feeds the middle, and the whistle blows as Utah touches up. So it looks like holding's going to be the call, and the Grizzlies will be shorthanded when we come back in one minute. No score. They rush about shot the Grizzlies 6-1 to one on the Grizzlies Hockey Network, presented by Rio Tinto. If you're out driving and something happens to your car, truck, or even wheelchair, and you end up stuck at a rail crossing, it's going to be okay. Don't panic. Here's what you do. Get out if you can and look for this blue sign on the metal pole. Call the number on the blue sign, and when they answer, tell them the crossing number. The number is right here. This tells them the exact location of the crossing. This is the fastest way to get trains stopped before coming through the crossing. Look for the blue. It helps you. I live for my next goal. Whether it's another pick six or another step forward in life, I wouldn't be who I am without the drive to reach it. And I wouldn't be where I am without my team. Everyone on and off the field who supports me and believes in my dreams as much as I do. Whatever your goals are, Surround yourself with people who are going to help you reach toward them. Like my friends at America First, and see where life takes you. Aaron Thoe, two minutes for holding. He's in the Rogers and Russell Legal Solutions holding cell time, a penalty, 721 into the first period. If you're someone you know and been charged with a DUI, Rogers and Russell is Utah's DUI defense firm. Consequences for driving under the influence in Utah are serious, and you need great attorneys on your first line. Look for a letter in the mail from Rogers and Russell inviting you to schedule a free consultation. Don't throw away or disregard this letter. Call and get Utah's number one DUI defense team, Rogers and Russell. Grizzlies clear it out. 15 seconds into the rush power play, their first of the game. Rapid City this season, 16.6% on the penalty kill. Rush to the left side, skate in as they drop it over to the left circle. They'll back it over to Colton Leader in the left point. They'll feed it back to Coda, back to Leader. Across to Marshno on the right side, just outside the circle, over to Leader. Now to Marshno. Now Coda, left side, takes a shot, and it gets deflected off the stick of Corey Thomas and flies off the protective netting. 123 left in the Rapid City power play, their first of the game. As Utah's penalty kill is 46 of 48 over the last 11 games. Yeah, Tyson, and coming into this game, I expected special teams to be a factor. The Grizzlies' penalty kill, as you mentioned, has been fantastic over the last couple of weeks. And now they're ninth best in the league, so this is a unit that, that does a really good job uh, when they're called upon. Keaton Jamison will take the face off. He's out there with Wright, Bartley, and Shearer. He's just underway as Rapid City wins the face off. Ryan Zulsdorf will feed it over to the left side as Rapid City did make a line change in the last whistle. Aliardi over to Zulsdorf, back to Nelson. Slot, righty shot goes wide and somehow deflects out of play. It looked like it hit a stanchion or glass, a piece of glass and just hit, you know, deflected out of play with 110 left in the Rapid City power play. Tyson, I think if the Grizzlies are able to kill this off and they're able to go the other way, I think that could be a huge momentum shift in this game. Right now, the Rush have six, six shots, and the Grizzlies only have one. I think after they kill this penalty, if they do, they need to find a way to sustain some offensive pressure in the Rush zone. Draw's going to go to the near circle. It's action in the Grizzlies zone. Rapid City, one game above the 500 mark. They are 20, 19, and 1 this season. On the road, they are 8, 12, and 1. Nelson will take the face off. He wins it. Nikolaev has a bounce over his stick. Grizzlies get it. Cameron Wright will ricochet off the near boards. Goes over towards Strong. He'll take a shot, and it goes wide. Boy, the one-timer didn't miss by much. As the Grizzlies have three shorthanded goals this season. Bartley moves the head to Strong. Strong skates into the slot. Over to the right circle. Gets around Zolzdorf. Take a shot. 
Saved by Chechilev. Now Sean gets a back shot. Saved by Chechilev again. Rapid City comes back the other way. Aliardi crosses center ice. Throws it ahead, but losing his balance was Keanu Yamamoto. He couldn't get the puck. Over to the far side. Cameron Wright will clear it out. Good shift by Cameron Wright and Cam Strong as Utah had a good look shorthanded. Outlet pass. It goes over to Logan Nelson. He'll skate towards the right circle. Utah catches up with him as Nelson will back it over towards Zolsdorf. Now across is the rush. Beat it towards the far goal line. Taken away by McDonald, who clears it out. Good job by the Grizzlies captain. 22 seconds left in the Rapid City power play and counting as Chechilev will toss it over to Robertson. Robertson neutralized, crosses center. Now he gains the line skating down the middle, gets around Fitz. Now he takes a shot and fans on it. Corey Thomas cut in front of him. Brooks will feed it over to the left point. Now to Marshall on the right side. He'll take a righty shot and it goes high. As Fitz runs into Marshall after he took the pass. Grizzlies are back at full strength. Brady thought about throwing it to throw out of the box, but couldn't get the pass off. Now Fitz gets it. He'll bounce it off a rush skate. Goes to Corey Thomas. He'll hit off the stanchion. Now Calder Brooks skates the right side, feeds it across. Thomas gets a stick in the way. Corey Thomas is playing great right now. Calder Brooks hits the side of the net with a pass. Max Cota gets held up by Penner. Penner battling now in the corner with Roy Kearns, who feeds it up top along the far boards. As Quinn Wickers fakes a shot. Now he's in the left point. He'll fire towards the net. Oh, I got redirected by a stick, and Miner's able to gather it and throw it back over to the far corner. Corey Thomas spins it back to Dylan Fitz in the near side. He'll bounce it off of Carter Robertson. Goes past him. Karens will ricochet off the boards. Didn't get very far. Penner kicks it out to center ice. Raby chases after the Rapid City blue line. Now it goes back to Fitz. New tries. Takes a shot. Saved by Chechilev. He'll drop it so the whistle doesn't blow. As Rapid City moves it ahead. Iverson's the right side. Throws it to center ice. He glances off the skate of Lucas Buke and goes back into the rush zone. As Rapid City will ricochet over to Iverson, the former third-round Rangers pick. He'll feed it ahead. Pouncey gets a stick in the way. Taryn Pfizer back in there. Great to see Pfizer back in after blocking the shot about seven minutes ago. As Grizzlies neutralize, stump it in. As Pfizer's on the ice with Cutler and Pouncey. Goes back to the left point. Shearer was reaching after it. Court at center ice gets it. He'll move it ahead to Lucas Fuke. Back over to the blue line. Delayed offside. So Court will let Andrew Nilsson touch it. Nilsson still in his own zone. Will feed it ahead. It's bounced off the stick of Pouncey and goes deep into the rush zone. As now left point. Shot to score! Brandon Cutler fired a shot from the left point and gets it past. Dale Chechilev, and 9.06 is left in the first period. The Grizzlies get on the board. Tyson, I think the Grizzlies just got Chechilev napping. I mean, he I don't think he ever had a chance at stopping that puck. His focus was totally on the far side, and before he knew it, the puck was in the back of the net. Kyle Pouncey was out in front. Maybe he took a little bit of the vision away. Assuming Pouncey didn't redirect it. Now Brandon Cutler has a goal in three straight games and six this season. Brandon Cutler gets a pat on the back from Grizzlies head coach Ryan Kanasiewicz as Utah has drawn first blood tonight. Rapid City on Wednesday scored first, and then Utah scored three unanswered. As Cutler will get the goal of sixth of the season, and as the action in the Grizzlies zone as Nikolai feeds it to Aliardi, right side shot, saved by Miner. And he holds on. Right now it looks like the Cutler goal is unassisted, 10-54 into the first period. So good to see Brandon Cutler back to back to back games with a goal. Tyson, he's really playing his best hockey of the season with the Grizzlies right now. Ever since his return, he's been a really dominant presence in the offensive zone. And it's nice to see that he's finally getting rewarded with goals. Draws on the right side, won by Rapid City. Nikolai with a shot. A glance off the stick of fi- uh, Fitz and flies out of play. But it was great on that shift that Cutler scored the goal on to see Terran Pfizer out there after blocking the shot four minutes in. Yeah, Tyson, it's really great to see, and hopefully that shot was just a stinger for Terran Pfizer. There's not a lot of padding down there by the skates, so good to see that he's able to come back. Draw one by Rapid City in the offensive zone as Nikolai will feed it over to the far side. Logan Nelson will bounce it off the stick of Utah. Bryce Mark gets to Bartley. He'll move it ahead. Cam Strong back to Bartley in the Grizzlies zone. He'll go D to D with Martin. We'll feed it out to center ice looking for Fitz. The pass is incomplete. Nice and he's going to be on the Grizzlies with 8.30 left in the first. Well, Think about Rapid City had a like sorry guy, but Rapid City had like a six to one edge in the shot count. The Grizzlies responded. They're now up to five shots. Well, hey, great minds think alike. Because I was just about to mention that. I was about to say. I mean, during that last whistle on the penalty kill, the Rush had six shots and the Grizzlies had one. Now it's seven to five. That just goes to show that the momentum did shift after that penalty kill, and the Grizzlies are able to get a goal out of it. It was a penalty kill of all things, not necessarily a power play. There was times last year when. You know, you wanted to get the offense jump started. You just take a penalty because the Grizzlies were so good offensively on the penalty kill. 
Utah wins the draw as Cam Strong crosses center ice and dumps it in. Chechelev plays it, tried to play it. It goes to the far corner. Kenton Helgeson, the Rapid City captain, battles with Martel. Roy Karens tried to move it ahead. Fitz picked it off. Fitz feeds it to the right point for McDonald. McDonald dishes back to the right circle for the Rooster. It bounced off the end boards and glides towards the near wall. As Utah gets hit, Martel on the way. He gets hit as well. Thomas in the left point, fires towards the net. Glove saved by Chechelev. Oh, he bobbled it for a second, but then covers up. As Corey Thomas still looking for his first pro goal, could have had a chance there. As Chechelev bobbled it for a second, and before Dylan Fitz was able to skate over there to get the loose change, Chechelev was able to cover it up. Yeah, Tyson, I don't know if Chechelev is on his A game right now. He's been kind of a little shaky to start this game. If I'm the Grizzlies, I throw everything I can at him, see if he can get a rebound because he doesn't seem to be all that sharp to start this one. And that Cutler one kind of uh, was a little bit of a knuckle puck there, and they're kind of confused him a little bit in the shot from Thomas. As draw is going to be in the left circle, we're still early on as Utah leads 1-0 and even eight minutes left in the first period. Utah wins the draw. Raby with a shot and blocked. Goes towards the high slot as McDonald will feed it to the left side for Jamison. Jamison up top for Thomas. Thomas will take a shot, and it's blocked by Wickers as the rush. We'll move it out to center ice. McDonald gets it back in Grizzlies territory. He'll feed it across. Picked off by Max Coda. Coda skates towards the right circle, takes a shot, and it's blocked by Thomas's stick. As McDonald skates towards the right corner. As he is Carter Robertson avoids a check in McDonald. Puck goes to the far corner. Thomas ahead to Jamison. Now Rapsy takes it away. Shot saved by Miner from the far side. Now Robertson. Right point shot blocked by Thomas. Now Rapid City tries to throw it in from the right side, and it glanced off the stick and goes out of play. Last shot was taken by Keanu Yamamoto. But how many blocked shots early on for Corey Thomas? Blocked shots and deflections. He's been amazing. Yeah, Tyson, Corey Thomas is playing really good hockey right now. You mentioned him blocking shots. There was a chance earlier in the game where he potentially saves a goal. Uh, the rough, the rush skater split the Grizzlies' defense, and Corey Thomas came back, didn't put on the play, and was able to get a stick on it. Draw on the right circle. The Grizzly zone is won by Rapid City. As Nikolaev goes down, Nilsson will move it ahead to Pfizer. Now to Brandon Cutler, the goal scorer, as he'll dump it in. He's got six this season. As goes back to Leader, he'll skate around Chechelev's net. Now Leader will reverse field back to the near side. He'll move it out to center ice. As Aliardi tried to get it, couldn't accept the pass. Goes back to Cutler. He'll feed it across to Pfizer. Pfizer gains the line, drops it off for Penner. He'll take a shot that goes wide. As Cutler tried to move it towards the near corner, and Aliardi gets it. He'll move it ahead to Leader across the center ice. Aliardi gains the line over to Nikolaev. Good poke check by Nilsson. This goes back to neutral ice. Pfizer gets the puck two on two. He skates towards the right circle. Pfizer with the righty shot. And it deflects off of Chechelev and goes out of play. 6.33 left in the first. It's Taron Pfizer, second in the team with 10 goals this season. Had a pretty good look two on two. It didn't look like he was 100% moving, but he looked like he was moving pretty well. Kind of maybe patiently seeing if Cutler was going to cut towards the net. Yeah, Tyson, really good play there by Taron Pfizer. As you mentioned, he didn't look like he was going 100% full speed, but I really love that shot from him on that play. And that guy's got a heck of a shot, really. Draw on the right circle of the rush zone. It's taken by Utah. Fits with a shot that goes wide. Marshall towards the near boards and moving out to center ice, taken by Martel. Martel crosses center ice, and he'll drive it around the boards. It spins towards Fitz, who collides with Roy Kerens. It goes out to neutral ice. It's called to Brooks. will feed it ahead. Chasing it down on the left side is Cam Strong. Strong around the net with great speed as he's being shadowed by Kenton Helgeson. Strong, Strong drops it off behind the net as Kerens and Fitz collide. Now Martel over to the left side for Strong. Takes a shot that goes wide. Back to the rooster, Martel. He skates towards the left point. Martel takes a shot on it. Got blocked by Chechelev, who looked like he didn't see it. As Rapid City, Calder Brooks near there, his bench area. will skate back across the center ice logo. Skates down the middle. Now throw a right wing pass to Marshno, but the rusher offside. 548 left in the first as Utah leads 1-0 on Brandon Cutler, sixth of the year. That was scored unassisted, 10-54 in. As both teams have seven shots on the Grizzlies Hockey Network, presented by Rio Tinto.
Welcome back to Utah Grizzlies hockey. Five forty-eight left in the first period. Both teams have seven shots, and that's really pretty good considering Rapid City at one point led the shot count six to one. Yeah, Tyson, after Grizzly met, were, were able to kill off that penalty, the momentum totally swings. And I think that's because Cam Strong did such a good job of just going the other way with the puck while on the penalty kill, and the Grizzlies were able to take, take that and turn it into a goal later on. Just mirrors a little bit louder in the building here tonight. As it goes out to new tries, Grizzlies won the face off as Cameron Wright, right side, will fire a shot that goes wide off the Mavericks side as the rush will lift it high into the air, and it goes out of play. Did it get redirected? Ah, oh, they say it did. Say They say it ricocheted off the glass, so no delay of game. This face-off's going to come back into the rush zone. Tyson, it is louder in here tonight. Yeah. I, I can barely hear myself think at times, but I mean, we got a really good crowd here at Maverick Center. I can barely hear myself think at times in a quiet room. <laughs> <laughs> Draws going to be in the left circle. You don't want to get to that point in your life, guy. You don't want to age poorly. Jameis will take the draw. He's got Raby to his left and right to his right. Defensive pairing is McDonald and Thomas, who have been outstanding here in the first period. Rapid City wins the faceoff. Wicker skates around the net. Wright cuts it off on the right point and spins it to the corner on the near side as Robertson will move it ahead. Thomas picks it off. Thomas collides with Jamison. Jamison gets the puck in the corner as he gets double teamed. Nikolaev in the area. Jamison continues to hack away as Rapid City trying to get it over towards Nikolaev. Robertson's in the area. Wright spins it towards the right side. Ah, oh, hit a stanchion, strangely. The puck was gliding towards McDonald. Rapid City throws out to center ice. They got a three-on-one. Rush to the left side. Centers to Nikolaev. Oh, bounced off his stick and rolls to the corner. Raby gets it and cuts it off. Pass head to right. Goes past him and out to neutralize. Colton Leader crosses center. He'll drop it back off for Yamamoto. He'll feed it to the right side for Tyson Elgison. It glanced off his stick and goes into the Grizzlies zone. As McDonald over to Thomas. Back to McDonald. He's in the far side as McDonald will move it out to the left side looking for Brandon Cutler. He didn't get a piece of it as icing is on the Grizzlies with 436 left in the first. Tyson, once again on that last play, who else but Corey Thomas to get in there and block yeah. that shot? I mean, the guy is just playing fantastic hockey right now. It is great to see Terran Pfizer back out there. He's out there along with Penner and Cutler. And it really is, has been fun as the season's progressed to see the evolution of Corey Thomas. Kind of started with that five-game set against Idaho where he played great. And for a guy that's 6'5 and 215 pounds, when he plays physical and he plays assertive, he can be as good as any defenseman the Grizzlies have. Draw one by the Grizzlies. Thomas around the net will move it to Cutler, who will bounce it off the boards on the near side. Goes back to Rapid City. as the rush skate from left to right over to Max Cota. One-time tap from New Tries. It goes into the Grizzlies zone. Cota chases after it. He's a good player. Out to the right side. Cota feeds it back towards the left corner. Tyson Helgeson skates over there. Collides with Pfizer. Those two battle as Pfizer will bounce it off of Helgeson. Skating it goes to Penner. Back to Thomas. We'll move it back to Penner at neutral ice. Penner steers ahead to Cutler. He's already got a goal tonight. Left circle. Shot. And well, it went past Chechlev, but not past the goal line. Chechlev throws down Pfizer. No, no call. Rapsy crosses center ice as Pfizer back to his feet. But Chechlev just kind of threw him down. Fans wanted a penalty none to be had as the action is deep in the Grizzlies zone. Rapid City skates towards the right corner as the rush. Back to the right point. Feed it back to neutralize. The rush will reset. Helgeson over to Nikolaev. Back to Kenton Helgeson at the Rapid City blue line. they will move it to the right side for Nikolaev who steps over the line. Drops it off for Aliardi. Right circle back to Nikolaev. It bounced off his stick. Grizzlies move it ahead to Martel. As Martel the center ice tried to steer it over to Fitz. Passes wide. Rapsi moves it ahead, picked off by Strong. Now skating in Martel to the left circle. Martel with a backhand shot that goes wide. Martel will feed it back to the right point for Nil for Martin. Martin's pass is picked off by Nelson. He moved it out to center ice. It bounced off of Martin. Martin gets the puck, steps over the blue line, left point, and spins it around the boards. Grizzlies towards the right side. Martel gets cut off, and Nelson takes the puck away from him. He'll lift it out to center ice. It's gloved by Bartley and drops. Bartley moves it to center ice for Martel. He dumps it into the left corner. Jamison chases after it, gets around a rush skater, but the rush have the puck. Grizzlies make a line change as Rapid City will carry it across center ice with speed. Roy Karen's the skilled one, throws it to the left side. Now centering pass, shot and a score. What a play by Rapid City as Calder Brooks, like he just kind of lifted it over Trent Minor. Two passes, one from the slot to the left side and then down the middle. Good play by Rapid City to tie it up with 241 left in the first. Yeah, Tyson, that was a bang-bang play. The puck goes through two Grizzlies defenders, and it's a good backhand shot there by the rush. 
And it's a 1-1 game now. That's Calder Brooks' 16th goal of the season. He's now one away from the rush team lead, which is set by Matt Marshno with 17. That was a good play. Two nice passes by a pretty good forward line. Roy Karen's made the first pass. And the rush out to center ice, win the faceoff. Marshno gets it taken away. Marshno also with an assist. He made the second pass. Goes right over to Raby, left circle, takes a shot that goes wide. Puck glides towards the near boards, back to the right point. McDonald fanned on a shot, goes back to Cameron right slot. Shot blocked by Wickers. Right gets a back shot, blocked again by Wickers. Goes back to McDonald. McDonald fires a shot, saved by Chechel. Rebound, Jamison, shot goes wide. Carter Robertson moves it towards the near side as Marshno will carry it across center ice. He'll lift it over the head of Corey Thomas. He'll chase it down in the far corner. Thomas collides with Roy Cairns, who has good size himself. McDonald will bounce it off the far boards. Coda gets hit by McDonald. Right skates towards the far corner. He'll move it ahead as it goes towards Jamison. Left wing pass to Cutler. Cutler will skate towards the left circle. Cutler stops in the corner. Gets cut off by Helgeson. Cutler still with the puck. Throws the sheer left point shot. Saved by Chechlev in the butterfly position as it goes back to Rapid City. Moving ahead to Max Cody. Accepts the pass at the Grizzlies blue line. Cody centers to Yamamoto. Shot saved by Miner. As Andrew Nilsson gets blasted along the end boards. Goes to Cutler near side. He feeds it across to Pfizer trying to gather the bouncing puck. Pfizer gets it. Right corner. Sharp angled shot. Hits the side of the net. It goes out to center ice. A strong gains the offensive line. They'll drop it off for Pfizer. He lets it go between his legs to Cutler. Cutler will bounce it off the near boards to Bartley. He'll take a shot. Kick save by Chechelev. Rapid City gets it. Yamamoto, 112 and counting left in the first. We're tied at one. Max Cota at center ice gets back checked by Bartley. Puck goes back to the Rapid City blue line where Zulsdorf will get it over to Wickers. He'll throw it to center ice. Goes past Martel deep in the Grizzlies zone. No icing as there's one minute left in the first period. Bartley gets the puck. He's deep in his own zone, skating from right to left. Bartley skates down the middle. And he'll throw a left wing pass to Jamison. Across the center ice, gets around Nikolaev as Jamison will kick it over to the near corner. Rush spin it to the boards. Fitz looks to center it, picked off by Nikolaev. He'll throw a backhand pass to Aliardi who crosses center ice. Aliardi gets around Bryson Martin. He'll skate to the right side, but he couldn't get a shot off. Aliardi wanted a penalty as a stick up laying in front of him. As Fitz will get it ahead to Raby. Raby crosses center ice, make that Martel. Over to Fitz on the left side. He gets around Robertson. Left side shot saved by Chechelev. Another shot saved by Chechelev again. As the first shot taken by Fitz was in the left circle. Bounced off of Chechelev, and then Fitz got a second look, and Chechelev made that save as well. Twenty seconds left in the first period. Rapid City's goal came 17-19 in. It's Calder Brooks, the 16th of the year. With the assist of Matt Marshno, who gets his 24th assist, and Roy Karens now has 15 assists on the season. Grizzlies have outshot the rush 13 to 8 here in the first period. Remember, Rapid City had a 6 to 1 edge earlier in the game. As Rapid City wins the draw, they cross center ice. Karens will feed it to the left side for Calder Brooks, the goal scorer. He'll bounce it off the end glass. 10 seconds left in the period. Sure spins it towards the near boards. Karens, who's awfully skilled at 20 years old, behind the net. Karens with an NHL entry-level deal. Take a sharp angled shot that hits the side of the net. Karens gets it back, but time runs out here in the first period. As we play 20 minutes here at Maverick Center, Grizzlies took a 1-0 lead as Brandon Cutler scored 10-54 in. Calder Brooks tied it up 17-19 in. Grizzlies outshot the rush 13-9 in the first period. When we come back in two minutes, Guy Karens will recap the first period. We'll talk some hockey and go over some scores from around the world of sports. Siegfried and Jensen intermission report starts in two minutes on the Utah Grizzlies Hockey Network. When you pay with the Nitro card at Maverick, you always save 10 cents or more on fuel every gallon, every day. And you could save a whole lot more thanks to Nitro Best Price. Pick up a Nitro card and upgrade your Adventure Club account today. I live for my next goal. Whether it's another pick six or another step forward in life, 
I wouldn't be who I am without the drive to reach it. And I wouldn't be where I am without my team. Everyone on and off the field who supports me and believes in my dreams as much as I do. Whatever your goals are, surround yourself with people who are going to help you reach toward them. Like my friends at America First and see where life takes you. Maverick's new bean to cup machines always deliver a freshly ground cup of coffee on demand so you can enjoy any of our premium roasts at their best, day or night, hot or ice. Enjoy a fresh cup today. If you're out driving and something happens to your car, truck, or even wheelchair, and you end up stuck at a rail crossing, it's going to be okay. Don't panic. Here's what you do. Get out if you can and look for this blue sign on the metal pole. Call the number on the blue sign, and when they answer, tell them the crossing number. The number is right here. This tells them the exact location of the crossing. This is the fastest way to get trains stopped before coming through the crossing. Look for the blue. It helps you. First intermission here at Maverick Center. We're tied to one. Guy, what happened here in the first 20 minutes of play? Well, Tyson, as we expected, it was a back and forth game. But really, it was the rush that were pushing the dominance first. And it started out with Aaron Thoe getting a holding penalty uh, 7.21 into the first period. And after that penalty, the shots were 6-1 to in favor of the rush. But after that, it was all Utah. Brandon Cutler, 10.54 into the first period. It's unassisted, and he gets the Grizzlies' first and only goal of the game, making it a one nothing game. And it looked like the Grizzlies were going to have a solid period and maybe take that one nothing lead going into the locker room. But late in the period, 17-19 into the first period, it was Calder Brooks getting his 16th of the year. That was assisted by Matt Marchino and Rory Karens. Two players that have been really dominant for Rapid City thus far this season. For the Grizzlies, Dylan Fitz has taken two shots. Cam Strong has taken three. And Brendan Cutler has also taken two. One of those which ended up being a goal. After the first period, shots are 13-9 to nine in favor of the Grizzlies. And Tyson, Grizzlies go one for one on the penalty kill. They don't have a power play, but I expect that to change in the second period as we saw play get really physical towards the end of that period. Yeah, very physical first period, but it looked like the officials, for the most part, let them play. And I think that, you know, it was pretty disciplined for Rapid City. Uh, I think they played a pretty disciplined first period. And think about their goal that, that Calder Brooks scored. I mean, it was... It was kind of an unorthodox-looking shot as Rory Cairns was in the slot. He fed it to the far side and the left for Marchino, and then Marchino centered it out in front to Brooks. And it looked like Brooks bobbled it for a second, thought about going backhand, then went back to his forehand. You know, it was almost like it was more of a crafty shot than anything else and just kind of glided over Trent Minor. Right? It's not much you can do if you're Trent Minor. And really, if you're going to score goals against a dominant goal, or goaltender that's been as hot as Minor is and a guy that can be a dominant goaltender, you know, sometimes it takes redirections. It takes kind of unorthodox things because if you're going to give Trent Miner a routine shot, he's going to make the save every time. And so, just kind of a one of those one of those shots that just kind of just kind of you know trickled past Miner, and you know it was a good play by a good hockey player and really a good forward line that Rapid City has in Marshall, Karens, and Brooks. With Brooks getting his 16th goal of the season, it's kind of interesting. Utah's goal that was scored by Cutler. It was a little unorthodox of its own, as it was in the left point. And it kind of looked like the puck just kind of knuckled past Chechlev. It wasn't one of those smooth-looking shots. It was one that Chechlev looked like he bobbled for a second. It was kind of interesting to see Chechlev in the first period because it looked like for a while he was kind of fighting the puck a little bit. It wasn't necessarily catching things cleanly. He might have settled in towards the end of the period, uh, maybe just due to seeing a lot more shots there in the second half of the period than he did the first. Yeah, Tyson, I mentioned earlier on in the period that it didn't look like he was on his A game. He was bobbling pucks, letting in or letting out some really bad rebounds. Uh, it just didn't seem like he was playing at all with a lot of confidence. Uh, and I think towards the end of the period, I think we saw him get really frustrated. I think he knows that he's not playing his best game thus far. And we saw him get really far frustrated. And we saw him uh, take offense to Terran Pfizer being in his crease. Uh, I think that's something to watch out for as this game goes on. If, this, if the Grizzlies can get Chechelev really frustrated, he may start letting in a few easy and soft ones. So for the Grizzlies, you got to keep putting pucks on net, and you got to give what this guy takes you, or take what this guy gives you. Excuse me. Wow, I got my wires crossed. It's really loud in here. <laughs> but, I mean, he's giving you these rebounds. He's giving you these opportunities. Get somebody out in the front, in front of the net, screen him, and put, away, put these rebounds away. I do like the shot count, though, in the first period. I mean, think about the Grizzlies, who have on average been out shot by about seven per game. They lead the shot count 13 to nine, especially after Rapid City had the six to one edge in, you know, early in the first period. And you think about Wednesday night, shots were even at 32. 
and scoring chances in the first period. Both teams had six. So even though the Grizzlies had a 13-9 edge, Rapid City had six scoring chances of their own and obviously scored on the one by Brooks, but you know, Trent Miner continues to do a good job for Utah as he stops eight of nine in the first period. Faceoffs were pretty even. Utah 111, Rapid City 110. Grizzlies had three shorthanded shots. You mentioned the Aaron Thoe penalty. Grizzlies were awfully aggressive shorthanded. In fact, Utah, if I remember right, a really good look to their shorthanded. Yeah, Tyson, they had a really good look. I think maybe two looks. Yeah. And it all happened because Cam Strong, this guy, I love the way that he plays because he never quits on a play. He's not the fastest guy, but, man, when he drives to the net, it, like nobody can stop him. It's, it's incredible. He'll lower his shoulder and he'll just drive straight to the net. This guy plays with a lot of swagger, a lot of, a lot of character, really. He's just one of those guys that is kind of a life. Yeah. At the heart and soul of this Grizzlies team. And it's really good to see him playing his best hockey of the season right now because he's in a bit of a slump to start the season. But now that he's really found his groove on that line with Fitz and Martel, he's been great. And so I think on that penalty kill, again, he was providing that jump start that the Grizzlies needed by taking a chance on those on those uh, shorthanded opportunities. When well, he knew Strom was a good player because early in the season, you know, the point total might not have been there, but yet he'd stay in the lineup because of all the little things he did. And he plays a north-south game. You don't see him go from side to side much. He just, you know, as you said, just kind of drives the net, just kind of attacks things north-south. Plays, you know, plays about 100 miles an hour out there, and he's a lot of fun to watch. Yeah, he is a lot of fun to watch. And another thing I really like about him is that he never quits on a play. He never does. Uh, even if the puck is away in the corner where he makes a play, he always follows up with it. He's always got his head up. He's always looking around to see what other plays he can make. And because of that, he's become a really solid player. And I think that's something that a lot of the other Grizzlies forwards and defensemen have done over the course of the season is they've learned to pick their heads up, anticipate plays, and really just never quit on a play and always follow it up. I mean, how many times have we seen where the Rush have an opportunity, they split the defense, and then a guy like Corey Thomas comes back around on the play and makes a, a desperation play that ultimately saves a goal? I mean, I think we've seen that a lot more from the Grizzlies, and they are really just have a heightened awareness, and they're playing great hockey right now. Well, I'm looking around the building, and obviously intermission, you got a lot of fans in the concourse, but this is an outstanding Friday night crowd. And you think about Saturday being Guns and Hoses night, and, Maybe part of the reason why we're hearing a lot more background noise is because we got a lot of fans here in the building. We've got a great atmosphere, and we've got a pretty good hockey game tied to one here through one period. When we come back, we'll go over some scores from around the league and the world of sports. As we're tied to one, Brandon Cutler scored halfway through the first period, 10-54 in, and then Calder Brooks tied it up 17-19 in with his 16th of the season. This is the Siegfried and Jensen Intermission Report on the Utah Grizzlies Hockey Network. If you're out driving and something happens to your car, truck, or even wheelchair, and you end up stuck at a rail crossing, it's going to be okay. Don't panic. Here's what you do. Get out if you can and look for this blue sign on the metal pole. Call the number on the blue sign, and when they answer, tell them the crossing number. The number is right here. This tells them the exact location of the crossing. This is the fastest way to get trains stopped before coming through the crossing. Look for the blue. It helps you. I live for my next goal. Whether it's another pick six or another step forward in life, I wouldn't be who I am without the drive to reach it. And I wouldn't be where I am without my team. Everyone on and off the field who supports me and believes in my dreams as much as I do. Whatever your goals are, Surround yourself with people who are going to help you reach toward them. Like my friends at America First, and see where life takes you. Welcome back to Maverick Center. As we're tied at one between the Grizzlies and the Rush, this is Jake's favorite song, the ECHL Fan of the Year. He loves singing fight song. As I think Jake's actually on the Zamboni right now. He's ECHL Fan of the Year, and you know, he's... He's hanging out and having a good time here as the ECHL fan of the year was voted during the offseason. And good to see Jake the Snake there on the Zamboni at center ice. I think it's being driven by Adam Johnson. I think Marty's driving the other Zamboni that's now on the far side, gliding along the far boards. Other games in the league, many of them have gone final. 12 Riviera lead defeats Adirondack 4 to 2. Jacksonville over Indy 5 to 5 to 4. So Jacksonville one goal victory. Toledo defeats Kalamazoo 3-2. How about this for a high-scoring game that ended in overtime? Worcester over Reading 7-6. Jeff Carr's Norfolk Admirals shut out Maine 3-0, so Norfolk gets its seventh victory of the season. 
Orlando defeats Savannah three to one. In fact, the Grizzlies are going to take on Orlando and Savannah in the month of February. In fact, the Grizzlies are going to be in Savannah on February 17th. And then the Grizzlies will be in Orlando at the NBA arena. It's the same building that the Orlando Magic play in, and they'll play there February 19th and 20th. Orlando defeats Savannah three to one. Games in progress. Nine minutes left in the third period. Florida leads South Carolina 4-2. to two. Florida, the defending Kelly Cup champions, Alex Aliardi, who's now with the Rapid City Rush, was a big part of their championship run. Looks like Evan Fitzpatrick is in net for Florida. He has stopped 29 of 31. 11 minutes left in the third period. Newfoundland and Cincinnati are tied at one. Don't forget the Cincinnati Cyclones will be here at Maverick Center for a three-game set in the month of March. That's going to be March 22nd, 24th, and 26th. Second intermission, Tulsa leads Allen 3-2. to two. Remember, the Grizzlies won two out of three games at Tulsa's BOK Center last week. Second intermission, Fort Wayne leads in, uh, leads Iowa 3-1. to one. Just starting out the third period, Wheeling and Kansas City are tied at one. Don't forget a Grizzlies victory tonight and a Kansas City regulation loss means that Utah will be tied with Kansas City for fourth place in the Mountain Division as Kansas City has 37 standings points and the Grizzlies right now have 35. Looks like Josh Lamon has scored for Kansas City and Tremblay has the wheeling goal as they're tied at one early in the third period. First intermission over at Idaho Central Arena. No score between Wichita and, and Idaho. That's the second of a three-game series. Looks like there was a penalty shot in the first period taken by Braden Watts but was denied by Idaho's Remy Poirier. Still has outshot the Thunder 10-7 in the first period. Here at Maverick Center, we got a 1-1 game. Remember, the Grizzlies and Rush have been pretty identical in terms of their second period production this season. Utah has outscored opponents 41-38 in the second period this season. Rapid City and the opposition have scored 45 goals. So Rapid City has been an even team in the second period, the Grizzlies a plus three. And remember, the second period is where the Grizzlies won the game. Is uh, The score, like it was on Wednesday night, was tied after one. And then Cameron Wright got the deciding goal, 16-06 in the second period on a pass from Andrew Nilsson. Then the Grizzlies scored the empty netter at the end. And so, Guy, you know, with the Grizzlies having a record of 13-1 and one when leading after two periods, you know, it really comes down to if the Grizzlies can find a way to have a lead after two, they're going to be in good shape here tonight. Yeah, Tyson, and I would argue that the second period is the Grizzlies' best period uh, so far this season. It seems like they come out in the first period, and they, and they play decently well. We saw them do that today. And I think usually what we see is they come out in the second period, and that's when they let they just let the guns blow. They just go guns a-blazing, and they have a really good second period. I think the second period is their strongest, and I think the record when leading after two reflects that. They have usually... If they come out in the second period and have a good period, usually leading after that, and they're a good team at holding leads after two. So I think if the Grizzlies come out with a, with a lead after the second period, they have a good chance to win. When we come back in two minutes, we'll have third, second period action here at Maverick Center. It's a tie to one. Utah's outshot Rapid City 13-9 to nine on the Grizzlies Hockey Network. Nitro card at Maverick, you always save 10 cents or more on fuel every gallon, every day. And you could save a whole lot more thanks to Nitro Best Price. Pick up a Nitro card and upgrade your Adventure Club account today. Welcome back to the Grizzlies Hockey Network. I'm Tyson Whiting. We're tied at one. Second period action will begin shortly, but we got a lot of fun stuff happening here at Maverick Center, not only this weekend, but next weekend when Chad Costello's Allen Americans roll into town. We obviously know about Saturday and Guns and Hoses night. You can bid on those jerseys that the Grizzlies wore for warm-ups tonight and are going to be wearing tomorrow night for the game on the Dash Auction app. I think you can start bidding tomorrow on those jerseys, and it would be a lot of fun to see, you know, a Brandon Cutler jersey. And I think it's a really good look that the Guns and Hoses jerseys are this year. And 
Andrew Nelson. You can get an Andrew Nelson jersey. He's got like six years of AHL experience. I'd go for Victor Bartley with the NHL experience. Now, Guy, let's say an unlimited budget, you get one of those jerseys. Which one would you get? Tyson, I think i got to go with a Trent Miner jersey. I think this is a guy that really has a lot of potential in his career and could one day we could see him with the Colorado Avalanche or somewhere in the NHL. I think he's that good. So give me a Trent Miner jersey. Oh, that'd be a lot of fun. I'd, like I said, I'd probably go with Bartley, but then again, I'd probably go with anybody on this Grizzlies roster. As It's been a fun team to watch this season. And the Allen Americans are going to be in town for a three-game set. Wednesday, February 1st, will be the first of that three-game series. It's a Bud Light College night with discounted student tickets. Friday, February 3rd, that's seven days from now. It's Heart Health Night. Some proceeds of the tickets will go to the Heart Association. And then Saturday, February 4th, is going to be Black History Night. Face off all three nights in the Allen series will be at 710. And tomorrow night for Guns and Hoses, face off for the Grizzlies and Rush will be at 710. As both teams are headed, headed to the ice here for the second period as Trent Miner skates towards his net. And the thing about that storyline we didn't really mention much in the intermission was Taron Pfizer blocking a shot about four or five minutes into the game. Missed a few shifts. Dylan Fitz replaced him on that line. And then luckily about five minutes later, Pfizer returned to the Grizzlies lineup. Yeah, and it's really good to see him back. I mean, I, I was concerned that it might be a bigger injury than it actually turned out to be. And that would have really sucked for the Grizzlies at a time where it seems like they're just finally getting healthy, finally getting guys back from the AHL. So it's really great to see Taron Pfizer back out there. Especially when you consider that it took him quite a while to get back up. And then when he got to the tunnel, he had to be helped to the locker room. So for him to come back as soon as he did, I mean, you could just say that, yeah, he's a hockey player, he's tough, but it does take a lot of toughness to – you know, take what looked like an injury and, you know, just got it out there in the first period. Yeah, Tyson, and I think that shows a lot about what kind of player Terran Pfizer is. I mean, he's a guy that, one, has a, a, a high level of competitiveness in him, and he's also really strong. I mean, you think about a guy that takes a shot like that, I, I some people I wouldn't expect to come back in that game. I mean, if, if it was me, I probably wouldn't be back just the way that it looks like uh, it was hurting him. But Terran Pfizer returns before the period even ends. Yeah. So, I mean, what a warrior. What a way to just gut it out. And hopefully he's going to be okay going down the stretch. This broadcast is presented by Rio Tinto Kennecott, producing premier American copper and proudly celebrating 120 years of operation in the Utah community. We're proud to have Rio Tinto as a partner of Utah Grizzlies Hockey and the Grizzlies Hockey Network. As the draw is going to be at center ice, Grizzlies are going to be skating from left to right as we see it from high atop section 114. In your mind's eye, see it on YouTube. Rapid City will be skating from our right to our left. Cam Strong will take the draw. He's got Martell and Fitz up there with Thomas and McDonald on the back end as Rapid City wins the faceoff as Russia neutralized. So feed it out to center, goes past Matt Marsh. Now hits a stanchion. Calder Brooks towards the slot, gets poked away by McDonald. Now skating in's Karen. Slot shot and he goes wide. Now Rapid City out in front. Marsh no shot saved by Miner. And Trent holds on 15 seconds into the second period. Well, that was a dangerous play early on. Shot hits the inboards, comes back out right in front of Miner. Uh, but good on Trent to make that save. But Marsh was right there on the doorstep. And the good thing it didn't bounce off of Miner's pads there to give Marsh maybe a better shooting angle. Grizzlies make a fir their first line change of the second period as Penner will take the face off. He's got Terran Pfizer and Brandon Cutler out there. The defensive pairing is James Shearer and Andrew Nilsson. The so fans headed back to their seats. They were at the concourse during the first intermission. Left wing shot saved by Miner. That was taken by Calder Brooks. As we get another whistle, 20 seconds into the second period. So already Rapid City with a couple shots here on Trent Miner. Yeah, a couple shots, a couple whistles to start this period, but I think that's good for Trent. You get in a few routine saves after a break, and hopefully he catches fire again. Penner will take the face off against Rory Karens, who picked up a first period assist. Karens only 20 years old. He's got an NHL entry-level deal with the Calgary Flames. He's 5'10", and 175 pounds, although he does look bigger than that. Very skilled forward with a lot of speed, and I'm interested in seeing what his future is because he looks like it's bright. As the rush win the face off, Brooks' left wing shot goes wide. Now slot shot goes wide off the glass, and the Grizzlies get it in the near side as Nilsson will move it ahead to Pfizer. They'll throw it across the left side for Cutler. Cutler skates in, left circle, shot, pad saved by Chechelev. As Pfizer tries to feed the corner, picked off by Tyson Helgeson. He'll ice the puck. Sure skates over there as we get a whistle, 19-16. Left in the second, we've already had three whistles. As the draw is going to come back into the rush zone. Shout out to 
Penner will take the face off. He's got Cutler to his right and Pfizer to his left. Sure, and Nilsson up top. What a crowd we have here at Mavericks Center. And tomorrow is supposed to be even better than this. Get your tickets to UtahGrizzlies.com. Rapid City wins the face off as Leader will move it ahead. Leader playing a defensive role tonight. Puck goes to center ice for Cutler. Throw, throw a backhand pass to the right side for Penner. Penner dumps it in, taken by Leader as he skates back behind Chechilev's net. As Leader will now start the attack, he's got good speed as he skates down the middle. He'll throw a right wing pass to Nikolai who crosses center ice. Nikolai gets around a skater and Raby. And Nikolai gains the line, drops off the left circle. Nelson with a shot, blocked by Martin. Now Aliardi with a shot, it's blocked as it goes to the right circle. Raby gets it, he'll move it ahead to Penner. Penner gets cut off by Kenton Helgeson. Now Pfizer gets it right wing. He'll center it to Martin, shot saved by Chechilev. As Raby to the left side, gets it back to Pfizer. Pfizer skates towards his right. Now to Bartley on the right side, just outside the circle. Bartley over to Raby in the corner. Raby gets around Nikolaev. Oh, he tried to center out in front. It hit off of Chechilev. Rapid City will clear it out. That's going to be another icing call on Rapid City as the whistle blows with 18 minutes and 18 seconds left in the second. What a good play by Dakota Raby to just drive to the net and use his speed and take a quick shot on Chechilev. Almost caught him off guard. I really like that play from Raby there. And Tyson Whiting here with Guy Carenza. The draw is going to be in the right circle. Jamison will take the face off. He's got eight points in 10 games in the month of January. Nikolaev will take the draw for Rapid City. He was just reassigned to the rush from the AHL's Cal- Cal- Calgary Wranglers. That's the team that moved from Stockton after last season. Jamison's kicked out of the face off circle. Wright will take the draw. And it's won by Rapid City. As the rush, Colton Leader will. Move it ahead to Nikolaev, who crosses center ice. Nikolaev gains the line, left side. Thought about getting it to Nelson. He takes a shot, saved by Miner. Rebound goes out to Martin. He'll feed it to the far side as Wright gets hit. Right point, Aliardi keeps it in. He'll move it to the high slot for Zolsdorf. He takes a lefty shot, saved by Miner. Rebound goes to Jamison, who skates towards the near boards to get it. Cut off by Zolsdorf, left point. Takes a shot, saved by Miner. Grizzlies, Bryson Martin will throw an outlet pass to Raby. Raby skates into the right circle, takes a shot, and it bounced off the... Skate of Coda and flies out of play off the protective netting as we get yet another whistle with 17.46 left in the second. Tyson, it's interesting because the first period seemed to move really, really fast. I hope you didn't <laughs> jinx that. And now here we are. We've got a couple more whistles here to start the second period, but I like what I've seen from the Grizzlies so far. Draws giving me the right circle. Cam Strong will take it. He's got Martel to his right and Fitz to his left. Thomas and McDonald, the defensive pairing. Matt Court will take the draw for Rapid City. It's won by the rush. It's Quinn Wickers. Skates to the corner, loses it. Strong spins it to the right point for McDonald. Takes a shot that's blocked in the right circle by Court. Now McDonald, McDonald skates to the right circle, battling with Court. McDonald skates back towards the point. Fires towards the right circle. And it's picked off by Quinn Wickers. Fitz feeds it across to the rooster. Left side shot saved by Chechilev. The puck flies towards the end boards. Rapid City gets it. Max Coda, far side, will cross center ice. Coda dumps it in as he tries to get around Thomas. Miner behind the net will shuffle it towards the far side. Goes past everybody. Colton Leader let the puck go in a very, very smart play as Rapid City was making a line change. If Leader touched it up, he thought it could have been too many men on the ice. Leader's such a smart hockey player as Rapid City crosses center ice. As Marsno drops off for Karens, who will bounce it off the end boards from Marsno. Back to Karens, who swings and misses on a one timer. As Strong will throw a backhand pass deep in the rush zone. Chased down by Tyson Elgison as we get a whistle with 16.48 left in the second. Rapid City was skating some guys on and off, and what a smart play by Colton Leader not to play the puck and risk getting too many men on the ice for the rush. Yeah, Tyson, Colton Leader's a really good player. He's the kind of guy that I'd like to have on my team. He's just a really smart player, and he knows his role on the team. Marshall will take the draw against Cam Strong. And as Utah's outshot Rapid City 15 to 13, Rush win the draw. Tyson Elgison left side, he's open, shot blocked by Martel, and it goes back to Dylan Fitz. We'll get it across to Martel, dumps it in. Martel thinks he was at center ice, and he wasn't, so icing is on the Grizzlies with 16-37. Left in the second, Martel was in Grizzlies territory, tapped in, then he pointed his stick to center ice like I got there, and well, the linesman's like, no, you didn't. <laughs> Well, Rock comes back a, into the Grizzly zone. A differing of opinion on that one. And we got two officials tonight. Well, I think the official actually got it right because Martel is clearly in Grizzlies territory. But yeah. That draws going to be on the right side. As we had quite a few whistles here in the first three and a half minutes of the second period. Draw one by Rapid City as Zolzdorf 
Well, feed it back up top for Calder Brooks. He'll take a lefty shot, saved by Miner. Out action out in front. Arm is raised by the referee. Penalty is going to be on the Grizzlies. Kenton Helgeson has to go past him to neutralize. As Chech level skate to the bench on a delayed penalty. So the Rush are going to be on the power play for the second time here tonight. As Rush still in their own zone, Sulzorf skates down the middle, feed it to the left side for Rick Karens. Karens dumps it in, and the puck bounces off the end boards. Miner delivers a hit, and after the whistle, Karens collided with Terran Pfizer. Pfizer, two bombs in the air, saying, what did I do? It looks like there's going to be a penalty on Dakota Raby. Uh, Shearer, actually it's James Shearer. It's not Shearer taking the penalty. It's maybe the captain. No, it is James Shearer. He's in the Rodgers and Russell Legal Solutions holding cell. He can't believe it. But Rapids is going to be on the power play for the second time tonight. Cross-checking is going to be the call. Have you or someone you know been charged with a DUI? Rodgers and Russell is Utah's DUI defense firm. Consequences for driving under the influence in Utah are serious. And you need great attorneys on your first line. Look for a letter in the mail from Rodgers and Russell inviting you to schedule a free consultation. Don't throw away or disregard this letter. Call and get Utah's best DUI defense team. Rodgers and Russell. Grizzlies win the face off and clear it all the way out. And Shearer's in the box. Two minutes for cross-checking. Time of penalty, 3.51 into the second period. Rapsley throws to the right side. They gain the offensive line. And as Nelson will throw it to the corner, now it goes back to Nelson. He'll feed it to his left for Zulsdorf, who fakes a shot and gets to Nelson. Watch out for him on the power play. Cross to Aliardi. Over to Zulsdorf, who faked a shot. And they'll nudge it to... Nelson, Nelson dish, dishes to the right circle as Rapid City mishandles the puck. Jameson on the far side, taken back as it bounces over to Zulsdorf in the high slot. He'll take a lefty shot. Blocker saved by Miner. Rebound goes out to Aliardi. He feeds it up top, but it goes past Zulsdorf and deep into the rush zone. So the Grizzlies make a line change. 45 seconds into the Rapid City power play. It's a rush. We'll start filtering guys on and off as Nikolaev will skate towards the bench as Zulsdorf will feed it to his left for Calder Brooks. Brooks at the Utah blue line, dumps it around the wall. It's Bartley over towards Pfizer, who clears it out. Cameron Wright chases after it as Chechilev will have the puck roll towards him behind the net. Chechilev with an outlet pass to Karens. Karens moves it ahead to center ice as Utah dives. A good effort by Cameron Wright ahead to Terran Pfizer. Tape to tape of the Rapid City line. Pfizer drops it off the right. Wright skates down the middle. It gets poked back towards the right circle. Wright gets the puck. He'll throw it back into Grizzlies territory over for Martin. Across to Bartley. Puck bounced off a stick and goes to Rapid City at center ice. Calder Brooks falls down. Delivers a pass. Picked off by Pfizer. Pfizer gets around Brooks. He steps over the line. Skates towards the right corner. Pfizer over towards Bryson Martin. The rush get a stick in the way of the pass. It's a rush. Beat it back to neutralize. Karen's tried to dump it in. Didn't get very far. Fitz gets the puck and clears it out. Ten seconds left in the Rapid City power play as Grizzlies. Calder Brooks will, or Colton Leader will feed it to the right side. McDonald will spin along the boards. Grizzlies are two for two on the penalty kill and 48 of 50 over the last 11 plus games. As the rush, right point, dump it in. As Thomas behind the net, cuts off Rapid City. Raby in the area. Court gets stripped up by Thomas. No call. Puck goes towards the far side. Grizzlies get it. They nudge it across to Pfizer. Pfizer across the center ice. He's surrounded by four rush skaters. Gets around Carter Roberts. Take a shot. Saved by Chechilev. Rebound out in front. Taken by Rapid City. But Fitz almost scored like one on four there. As the rush. Over to the right side. Will nudge it ahead. As they feed it to the left side. Zach Court steps over the offensive line. He skates towards the corner. So he's being shandled by Tho. Court behind Utah's net. Gets hit by Tho. Rapid City will move it towards the right side. Yamamoto takes a righty shot. Saved by Miner. He holds on 13-24 left in the second period. The Red Hot Grizzlies penalty kill continues. They're now two for two tonight and 48 of 50 over their last 11 plus games. Timeout on the ice. We're back in one minute. We're still tied at one on the Grizzlies Hockey Network presented by Rio Tinto. If you're out driving and something happens to your car, truck, or even wheelchair, and you end up stuck at a rail crossing, it's going to be okay. Don't panic. Here's what you do. Get out if you can and look for this blue sign on the metal pole. Call the number on the blue sign, and when they answer, tell them the crossing number. The number is right here. This tells them the exact location of the crossing. This is the fastest way to get trains stopped before coming through the crossing. Look for the blue. It helps you. I live for my next goal. Whether it's another pick six or another step forward in life, I wouldn't be who I am without the drive to reach it. 
and I wouldn't be where I am without my team. Everyone on and off the field who supports me and believes in my dreams as much as I do. Whatever your goals are, surround yourself with people who are going to help you reach toward them. Like my friends at America First and see where life takes you. Thirteen twenty-four left in the second period as the draw is going to be in the Grizzlies zone. Grandpa City has outshot Utah 17 to 16. They've got an edge of eight to three here so far in the second period as Puck goes between the Rapid City defensemen back in the rush zone as Kenton Helgeson will throw it out to center ice. It's back to Logan Nelson who dumps it in. Miner behind the net. will cut the cut it off. He'll feed it towards the far side. Zulsdorf will fire towards the net. Kick saved by Miner as Bryson Martin in the near, near corner. Loses the puck as Kenton Helgeson skates towards the slot. He gets it poked away. Bartley skates towards the far boards as... The rush out to the right side. Aliardi battles with Martin. Aliardi wanted a penalty as he lost his stick. So he complains to one of the referees and goes back to Utah across the center ice. Though so will dump it in, make that cutler. It looks like he's shaved since the last game. As goes back to Kenton Helgeson over to Zulsdorf. He'll feed it to center ice. Near side for Nelson who chips it in. McDonald in the corner locates the puck. And so he'll skate behind Miner's net. As Jamison over towards McDonald. McDonald over to Cameron Wright. He loses it, neutralized. Calder Brooks will nudge it ahead to Marshall. Marshall to the left side. We'll drop it off for Tyson Elgison. He'll take a lefty shot, and it's blocked by Wright. Wright's been active tonight. As Jamison gets hit, we got a penalty. Rapsy chases in the right corner. Looks like the Grizzlies are going to be on the power play for the first time tonight. Well, Tyson, this is an excellent chance for the Grizzlies to take the lead again back on the power play for the first time in this game. Power play's been pretty good over the last couple of games. See if they can get it done. Matt Marsh knows in the Rodgers and Russell Legal Solutions holding cell. 12.02 left in the second period. minutes for tripping time a penalty 758 into the second period draw on the right side one by the Grizzlies Nelson over to Cutler back to the near side Pfizer back to Nelson one timer saved by Chechula but flies into the air to the right point Cutler cuts off a rush skater and Max Coda Grizzlies back to neutralize a reset Pfizer looking for right down the middle. Passes wide of the mark. Rapid City clears it up. Clears it. As Grizzly skate from left to right here in the second period. As Nelson will drop it off for Cutler. He'll feed it to the right side for Pfizer. Pfizer skates in, drops it off on the right point for right. He'll bounce it off a rush skater. Goes back to neutralize as Jamison gets hit. No calls. Kenton Helgeson will skate towards the right circle. Helgeson will take a shot on. It goes wide. It looked like Helgeson was trying to find Nelson. He took a shot. Miner made the save. 11-11 left in the second period. And as we're tied at one, it's Cameron Wright. Throws it back to Cutler. Cutler crosses the center ice. Didn't he shave after the last game? Cutler over to Jamison. Back to Cutler over to Jamison. As Cutler was sporting a mustache. Now it's the right side for Wright. Over to Pfizer just outside the right circle. Dropping off for Cutler. Cutler. Skates back towards the right point. As Utah's in the first power play of the game. More to Pfizer. One-timer, he scores! Taron Pfizer with a one-timer from the left circle as he gets his 11th of the season. And Utah's taking a 2-1 to one lead. But you knew Taron Pfizer was doing. He could be lethal there on the power play, and he did it again. Well, Tyson, it's all about the puck movement on this power play. The Grizzlies do a great job of moving the puck. It starts with Cutler getting over to Pfizer for the one-timer. Chechulet moving from his left to his right. And what a shot by Pfizer. Just right into the back of the net. Chechulet didn't stand a chance. Pfizer gets his 11th of the season. Fourth power play goal. Goal! 
So Pfizer with the goal. Wright and Cutler with the assist. So Brandon Cutler, one goal and one assist tonight. As he's scored on both of Utah's goals here tonight. So back to five on five skating. Grizzlies back in their own zone. As puck goes back over to Rapid City. Marsh, no left side, takes a shot that goes wide. And back towards the right side. Now Rapid City skates towards Karen's left side, fires towards Minor. Cut off as skating in front of him was Bryson Martin. Martin crosses center ice and throws to the right side for Fitz. Fitz skates towards the right circle, take a shot. Glove saved by Chechilev. Draw is going to be in the rush zone. Pretty good look by Dylan Fitz there from the right circle. He scores a lot of his goals that way. Yeah, Tyson, Dylan Fitz is one of those guys where he's not the flashiest player in the world, but when he does something, it makes a big impact. Sometimes it's a hit, sometimes it's a shot. Dylan Fitz brings a lot of energy to his game. Draws going to be in the right circle. As it's won by Utah. Connor McDonald skates towards his left over towards Thomas, who spins along the wall. Raby lets it go to the far corner as Penner being shadowed by Nikolaev. Nikolaev with the puck, battles with Penner. Raby in the area. Rapsy will nudge it towards their left for Kenton Helgeson, who lost the puck as he tried to clear it out. Raby feeds it back to the right corner. Rapid City hits a stanchion and it goes out to neutral ice. Aliardi will drop it off for Nikolaev, who couldn't reach it. As Raby will move it ahead. Raby gains the line, but gets, gets it poked away. Penner skates towards the left circle, takes a righty shot, saved by Chechilev. It bounced off his body as Rapid City will get it over to Zulsdorf, who will ricochet off the far boards, taken back by Penner as he dumps it in. Kenton Helgeson behind the net. And so he'll start the attack from right to left. As the rush, skate towards the right circle. Ali already fakes a shot. Now he takes one that goes wide. Puck glides towards the near boards. Quinn Wickers gets it. As Wickers now behind Rapid City's net. About nine minutes left in the second period. Utah leads 2-1. to one. As Taron Pfizer scored 9-14 into the second period on a power play goal. Puck glides towards the right side. Is Zach Court behind Utah's net? Nilsson will chip it out in front. Rapid City's Yamamoto swings and misses. And it's Dylan Fitz to neutralize. We'll move it to Pfizer. Pfizer's got a goal tonight. He centers it. Grizzlies wide open. Back and shot to score! Brandon Keller gets his second of the game. And he already has two goals and one assist. As the Grizzlies have taken a 3 1 lead. Brandon Cutler's on fire right now, and so is Taryn Pfizer. The chemistry between these two is showing. Pfizer, great cross-crease pass. Brandon Cutler finishes it off. He got his second of the game. I think he's front-runner for pick-to-click tonight. I would think so. Pick-to-click, number one star, and that will do it for Chechulev. He is being pulled. Chechulev is being pulled, and Adam Carlson is now in net. Time of the Cutler goal, 11-14 in. Pfizer and Dylan Fitz with the assist. So Chechilev is pulled after stopping 18 of 21. Adam Carlson replaces him in net. Carlson got the start on Wednesday, and he stopped all but two. And as he stopped 29 of 31 for Rapid City on Wednesday, he's got a record of four and eight with a 3.52 goals against an average and 885 save percentage. Rush have the puck in their own zone after winning the face off as Chechilev pulled for Rapid City. As the rush will ice the puck. And with 8.30 left in the second, draw is going to come back towards Adam Carlson, who's wearing number 31, as he replaced Chechilev there after Utah scored two goals in the span of exactly two minutes. Pfizer scored 9.14 into the second, his 11th of the year. And Brandon Cutler with his second of the game and seventh of the season, 11.14 into the second period. Draw one by Rapid City. This goes back to Colton Leader. He'll feed it to the far side, taken away. As two Grizzlies collide, right and Jamison. Jamison keeps it in. He skates towards the left circle. Back to right down the middle. Takes a shot that goes high over the shoulder of Carlson off the glass. As Rap City moves to Roy Karens. He'll poke it back to the left side for Brooks, who steps over the line. He tried to get over to Marshall. Grizzlies get in the way. Utah will ice the puck. But skating over there is Helgeson. No icing as the rush will beat it ahead to Marshall on the left side. Marshall battles. As Jamison nudges ahead to right, goes back over to Rapid City. As the rush in their own zone have the puck, as Solsdorf now behind his net being shadowed by Tyler Penner. As the rush, Helgeson 
towards New Try, taken back by the Grizzlies. They move it ahead to Cutler. Cutler skates towards the middle, take a shot, saved by Carlson. And the Grizzlies skate around the net. As Utah back towards the near side. Rapsy lifts it high into the air, goes to center ice, looking for Iverson. Iverson gets around McDonald, but Thomas takes the puck away as Thomas was behind McDonald. Now Thomas towards McDonald as Corey Thomas got hit pretty hard by Keegan Iverson. Both guys stare each other down. Do they drop the gloves? And it looks like they're thinking about it. As we got a whistle, Connor McDonald gets physical. Now Iverson drops his gloves and punches Thomas. Thomas going after Iverson. Thomas gets in two rights. We got two separate fights. Connor McDonald's also in a fight. Corey Thomas throws in two rights. And Connor McDonald also in a fight along the near side. Iverson and Thomas still up as McDonald gets in a fight. The crowd gets settled in. And the linesmen step in as we had two separate fights. Connor McDonald fought Zach Court. And Keegan Iverson fought Corey Thomas. I said that was unbelievable. Two separate fights at the same time. That's a two for one special right there. And this Maverick Center crowd, everybody who is able is standing on their feet. What a moment. <laughs> it looked like Iverson wanted to quickly drop the gloves and get the first couple punches in on Thomas. And that was over in front of Minor. And then McDonald was in the corner with Zach Court. And those guys started dropping the gloves too. <laughs> Just, I don't think I've seen that in many years where I saw two separate fights there on the same play. I wonder if each guy on the Grizzlies even knew that the other guy was fighting. I mean, <laughs> two fights at the same time. Like, did they know that they were both fighting at the same time? Know. Or is it just you finish up your fight and you look up and you see, oh, hey, you got to fight too. Good job, man. Like, It wasn't like they were going to wait the turnouts. Like, they are both just going to fight at the same time. Two heavyweights there. Keegan Iverson goes 6'2", 208 pounds. And Thomas is 6'5", and 215. Connor McDonald is 6'1", 181. He was going up against Zach Porter, who's 5'10", and 185. So both of the Grizzlies, I looked like Thomas dropped the gloves, and then Iverson caught him with a little bit of a left, then he squared up and met each other. And then Thomas got in more punches with the right than Iverson did. And by the end of it, Iverson was trying to swing with the right, but, I, but Thomas just kept throwing one right after another. Yeah, and, I got I got to give credit to Iverson for standing on his feet after that whole thing because he took a lot of punches from Corey Thomas. As for the Court McDonald fight, that might have been even better. Both guys were really swinging at each other, and then McDonald dragged down Court. <laughs> Two really good fights there at the same time. What an incredible moment, and this crowd is electric right now. Those two fights really jump-started everybody. You look for the momentum to swing in the Grizzlies' favor after that. Yeah. 7-12 left in the second period. As it's 3-1 Grizzlies. They scored two goals in the span of exactly two minutes. Chechilev was pulled after the third goal by Utah, the second goal for Brandon Cutler. Cutler's got two goals and one assist tonight. Draw is going to be in the Rapid City zone. The fights were happening in the Grizzlies zone. And out of this, looks like the Grizzlies are going to get a two-minute power play. Zach Court gets an extra two minutes. Draws in the right circle, taken by Utah's Andrew Nilsson. Feeds the right side for right as Utah's back on the power play. Nilsson over to Pfizer on the left side. He's got a goal tonight. He'll get it ahead towards... Right now, Jamison will try to bounce it towards Carlson, and the Rapid City goaltender covers up with exactly seven minutes left in the second period. So, Grizzlies three and the rush one. Tyson, you want to talk about a change of events? Those two fights, an electric Maverick center crowd, and now a power play. This is a great chance for the Grizzlies to really put this game away with a 4 1 lead. Jamison will take the face off because we've had a lot of fun here, and we got a great crowd here on a Friday night. Draw one by Rapid City as they try to clear it out. It stays in. Good play by Nilsson. Over to Pfizer. Now Cutler's on hat trick watch with two goals tonight. I'll throw it up top for Pfizer. Pfizer to the left side. Takes a shot and gets blocked out in front. Cutler skates towards the left side, but it's taken by Rapid City. As Brooks across to Kenton Helgeson. He gets to neutralize and dumps it in. 
Miner behind his net cuts it off. Still have a minute 20 left in the Grizzlies power play. As Andrew Nelson skates down the middle, feed it to the right side for Cameron Wright. As Wright over to the right side, spins it along the boards. This goes back to the left side. Cutler back around, hits off the skate of Tyson Helgeson over to the corner. Cameron Wright over to Nilsson. Nilsson will skate towards his left. Now back to Cutler on the left side. Cutler towards the left circle, takes a shot, he scores! Toss those hands on the ice as Brandon Cutler gets his third of the game. And Utah's taking a 4-1 lead. What a night for Brandon Cutler, huh? Three goals and one assist. The hats start flying on the ice. We still have 6.09 left in the second period. Utah leads 4-1. to one. Well, hats are being thrown and hugs are being given to Grandlin, Brandon Cutler. What a game he's had. He's just unstoppable right now. Three goals. He's also got an assist in this game. He's just having a heck of a night. Brandon Cutler came back after spending time with two different AHL teams. Well, and he knew he was due to pick up a big offensive performance. I remember against Kansas City last year, he contributed four points in a Grizzlies victory. And Andrew Nelson gets an assist, which is his team leading 23rd of the year. And Cameron Wright, with his 18th assist of the season. Actually, I think it might be his second assist of the game. Um, so the hats are coming on the ice. And some of the crew picking up the hats. Utah leads 4-1. to one. That's a second power play goal for the Grizzlies tonight. Tyson, and you mentioned Brandon Cutler being clean shaven. Now he's got a four point game after that. I don't think I don't think he's gonna keep the beard ever again for a while. He's having a really good night. Cutler just skated towards the left circle and just got it over Carlson before Carlson even moved. The puck was in the back of the net past him. As Rapid City wins the draw, as Utah's had a good night here so far, leading four to one. Victor Bartley will move ahead to Martel as Utah's scored. Three unanswered here in the second period. Martel crosses center ice, will lift it over the head of Zolsdorf behind the net as he collides with Cam Strong. Strong trying to move it back up top, and Rapsey takes it away. Rush cross center. They get over to Roy Karen's right side across to Brooks, who will have a tap off his, gla- his stick over to the corner. Now it goes back to Karen's right side. He'll take a lefty shot that goes wide. It's Rapid City towards the near boards. Marston will spin it to Brooks, who's behind Utah's net. He'll skate towards the far side, being shadowed by Martin. Now up top for Zulsdorf. He'll wrap it around for Karens. Karens feeds to the right circle. Shot hits the side of the net by Marshall. Now it goes back over to Kenton Helgeson, the Rapid City captain. Second year he's been their captain. Over to, to Brooks. He's got an A on his sweater. He'll get it to Marshall on the right side. Marshall skates towards the point. He'll wrap it around for Karens behind the net. Karens loses the puck as Fitz takes it. Fitz will skate towards the near side. Get it out to center ice. The puck. Goes towards Cam Strong and flies out of play over in section 125. As we have a timeout on the ice, 5.05 left in the second period. Brandon Cutler already has three goals and one assist tonight as Utah leads 4-1 to one on the Grizzlies Hockey Network, presented by Mountainland Supply Company. If you're out driving and something happens to your car, truck, or even wheelchair, and you end up stuck at a rail crossing, it's going to be okay. Don't panic. Here's what you do. Get out if you can and look for this blue sign on the metal pole. Call the number on the blue sign, and when they answer, tell them the crossing number. The number is right here. This tells them the exact location of the crossing. This is the fastest way to get trains stopped before coming through the crossing. Look for the blue. It helps you. I live for my next goal. Whether it's another pick six or another step forward in life, I wouldn't be who I am without the drive to reach it. And I wouldn't be where I am without my team. Everyone on and off the field who supports me and believes in my dreams as much as I do. Whatever your goals are, surround yourself with people who are going to help you reach toward them. Like my friends at America First and see where life takes you. 5.05 is left in the second period. As... Grizzlies win the faceoff. Brandon Cutler already with three goals and one assist tonight. Puck goes back to center ice. Grizzlies moving into the rush territory. Cutler trying to get it back to Pfizer. Rapsy took it away as Nikolaev throws it towards Aliardi. As Aliardi crosses center ice, skates in. As Aliardi gets cut off by Tho. Aliardi's been wanting penalties all night and hasn't gotten them. As Pfizer crosses center ice near the Grizzlies bench, no fire it. 
pass Carlson off the glass and goes towards the near side as Rapid City gets it behind the net as Rush moving out to Aliardi. Left side crosses center, and he'll feed it over to the right side for Nikolaev. He'll skate down the middle, trying to get it back to Aliardi, who skated the other way. And sure, will throw it ahead to Jamison. Jamison at center ice, dishes to his right for right. Right, switches place to Jamison, drops off a Raby back to right down the middle. Right back towards Martin, as right battling with Rapid City's code up. Martin gets the puck, and he'll feed it to the right side for Raby. Raby looked to center, it kicks off the... Of Carter Robertson as Wright spins it towards the far boards. Lucas Fuke moves it out to center ice where it's regathered by the Grizzlies. As Bryson Martin, former third-round pick of the Buffalo Sabres, less than four minutes left in the second period, will throw it ahead. Pass, pass goes to Quinn Wickers from Rapid City as now Carter Robertson gets it. He'll throw it towards the near side for Yamamoto. Back to Coda, over towards Nilsson. It will throw it ahead. Nilsson with a power play goal on Cutler's third of the game as it goes back over towards Cam Strong and gets spun around. And Rapid City throws it back to the near corner. Rush will throw it out to center ice, looking for a few, and that pass is incomplete. McDonald back after completing his fighting major. As McDonald gets, he might not even gotten a fighting. <laughs> McDonald got a, a roughing minor. <laughs> as Rapid City will throw it ahead. He didn't even get a fighting major. As McDonald gets it, that's the, that's the most aggressive roughing minor I've seen in quite some time, if that's what McDonald got. Cam Strong in his own zone, crosses center ice, left wing. Thought about dumping it in, but then skates to the left point. Shot saved by Carlson. Rebound shot goes wide by the Rooster. Now fits with a right-angled shot, saved by Carlson. Rapsey comes back up with it. Calder Brooks skates over the line, over to Marshno. Drops it off, left side, shot goes wide. Puck bounced off the glass and goes all the way to center ice. Rapsey gets it back to Zolzdorf over to Tyson Hel- Kitten Helgeson. Over to the slot for Karens. Left wing pass to Brooks, who fakes a shot. Skates in, backhand shot and a score. What a move by Calder Brooks, who gets his second of the game as he faked a shot in the left circle, skated in on Miner, and then made a nice little backhand move on the Grizzlies goaltender. Hey, they might take a second look at this as the referee skates towards the scores table as Rapid City has scored their second of the game. And it does look like they're going to go to video replay for this thing. As Brooks did get awfully close to Trent Miner as he was skating in. Yeah, Tyson, he did, and I think Miner was trying to poke check that puck, so he does come out a little bit out of the crease. He's still in the blue paint, but he obviously comes out, tries to poke the puck away, unsuccessful unsuccessful attempt. And Brooks, what a way to drive to the net with a lot of speed, and he could end up getting a goal out of it. So they're going to look it over, probably for goaltender interference. As Calder Brooks faked the shot, knew he had uh, more room, he skated in, and he might have gotten a piece of Trent Miner as he was skating in, making a nice move. So if Brooks' goal does count, 17-21 in. The assist will go to Rory Karens and Kenton Helgeson. And it looks like it is confirmed as a good goal. It's a 4-2 Grizzlies lead. Yeah, it looked like he did make contact with Miner, but it looked like it was just the stick. As I mentioned before, Miner was trying to poach at that puck. Uh, so we got a good goal here, and now it's a two-goal two goal game. So Grizzlies four in the rush, two. 2.39 left in the second period. Draw one by Rapid City. As they skate from right to left, as Kenton Helgeson will move it out to center ice, goes to Logan Nelson, taps off his stick and rolls to Miner, who covers up in the crease. 2.30 is left in the second. Shot count, Grizzlies here in the second period have taken 12 shots to Rapid City's 10. 12 to 10 is the edge for the Grizzlies here in the second period. We've had ourselves quite a fun game here tonight. We yeah. sure do. Guns and hoses night tomorrow. we got a big crowd here at Maverick Center tonight and a big crowd tomorrow. As the puck flies into the rush bench, as looks like the either the trainer or the equipment manager makes a catch. Ron's going to come back into the Grizzlies zone. Grizzlies this season are 13-1 and when leading after two periods, so... Having a two-goal lead is certainly big for them, especially with a goaltender like Trent Miner who came into play with a 970 save percentage over his last five games. Rush win the draw, but it exits the zone as Zolzdorf at center ice. Skate towards his left now. Feed it to Nikolaev. Nikolaev over towards Nelson, who skates towards the left circle. Nelson skates around the net, being shadowed by the other number 28, Aaron Tho. Back to Aliardi behind the net as he gets held up by Shearer. And now Nikolaev right side will get it back up top for Zolzdorf. Souls over the shot, and he got blocked baby by his own guy, Nelson. As Shearer will ricochet it off the near boards, goes back to Pfizer. Pfizer over to Penner, across the center ice. Now he skates down the middle, take a righty shot. 
And it looked like it got blocked before it got to Carlson. As now it's taken by Utah. Lefty shot goes wide. That was taken by Tho, who thought he had one. Carlson's net is empty, is, is unhinged. And the referee now spots it. 141 left in the second period. Carlson tells the referee, I, I don't know how the net got dislodged. I don't know what happened there. Now, it's funny. Co- Corey Thomas is out of the box after serving as fighting major. So is Keegan Iverson of Rapid City. Now, McDonald, that was a fight, wasn't it? But McDonald got a minor for roughing. And the reason why the Grizzlies had that power play that led to Cutler's third goal of the game is that Court got a, a double minor for roughing. I mean, it looked like McDonald might have thrown more punches. Yeah, Tyson, that's interesting. McDonald definitely did throw a few more punches as uh, the other guy took the most of that fight. So really peculiar, but hey, the Grizzlies got a power play and a goal out of that. It's the Grizzlies four in the rush, two. 141 left in the second period. As a draw, one by Utah in the offensive zone as Raby will skate around Tyson Helgeson. Raby now behind the net gets hit. Jamison takes over the puck and will get it to right and the left side along the boards. Right skates towards the point, back to Raby. Raby being shadowed by Karens. Raby gets a poke to Karens. Raby gets spun around at center ice. Oh, the official spotted it. Raby was trying to skate out of the zone and chase after the puck. Karen spun him around. And the official who was in neutral ice spotted it and calls a penalty on Karens. So looks like Rory Karens goes to the Rogers and Russell Legal Solutions holding cell. Two minutes for holding. 122 is left in the... Second period, the Grizzlies already have, if I remember right, two power play goals in the second period. That's yeah, Tyson. The Grizzlies have been hot on the power play and look for that to be another opportunity here for them. But keep an eye on Andrew Nielsen. This is a guy that's got a lot of assists on the power play. And he seems to be the guy that quarterbacks the whole thing. Watch for him to be a, a big impact player on this power play. Might just be one power play goal for the Grizzlies, although Cutler's third goal probably was. And there's 122 left in the second period. As you draw one by Rapid City, they clear it out. Miner to the side of his net gets it over to Nilsson. 112 and counting left in the second period as Nilsson will drop it off for Pfizer. Pfizer skates down the middle, feed a left wing pass to Cutler. He's already got three goals tonight. Cutler throws it to the right corner. Pfizer gets held up by Quinn Wickers. It goes to Calder Brooks in the corner. One minute left in the second period. Cutler battles. Pfizer over there, so is Wright. And two Rapid City skaters as Wright gets the puck. He'll throw it to the left side for Jamison. Shot blocked by Wickers. Puck goes back to Jamison in the left point. Over to Pfizer near the boards. He's got 11 goals this season, one tonight. Now the Grizzlies in the corner. Jamison over to Pfizer. Back to Jamison. Make that right. Over to Nilsson. Nilsson to Cutler on the right side. Cutler will switch places with Nilsson. Andrew gets the puck just outside the right circle. Now in the circle for Right, right dances around. 25 seconds left in the period. Up top for Nilsson, who skates towards his left. Back to right, who skates towards the right circle. Take a shot, glove saved by Carlson. It bounced off his glove. Goes back to right. Right along the right side. Gets up top for Nilsson. He winds and fires. Oh, the shot went just wide. Pfizer back towards Jamison in the corner. Back to Pfizer. Five seconds left in the period. Pfizer, now two seconds over to Nilsson. One-timer saved by Carlson. And that will do it for two periods as Cameron Wright was out in the front front of the net looking for a rebound, but time runs out on the Grizzlies. Utah will be on the power play the first 38 seconds of the third period. As the Grizzlies scored three goals in the first as we're tied to one heading into the second period. Utah outscored Rapid City three to one in the second period as Brandon Cutler has three goals and one assist. It's been the Brandon Cutler show. Taron Pfizer also finding the back of the net. And when we come back in two minutes, Guy Carenza will recap the first two periods of play as once again the Grizzlies lead the rush 4-2. to two. Utah is 13-1 this season when leading after two periods. And we'll have the Siegfried and Jensen intermission report in two minutes on the Utah Grizzlies Hockey Network. When you pay with the Nitro card at Maverick, you always save 10 cents or more on fuel every gallon, every day. And you could save a whole lot more thanks to Nitro Best Price. Pick up a Nitro card and upgrade your Adventure Club account today.
I live for my next goal. Whether it's another pick six or another step forward in life, I wouldn't be who I am without the drive to reach it. And I wouldn't be where I am without my team. Everyone on and off the field who supports me and believes in my dreams as much as I do. Whatever your goals are, surround yourself with people who are going to help you reach toward them. Like my friends at America First and see where life takes you. Maverick's new Bean to Cup machines always deliver a freshly ground cup of coffee on demand so you can enjoy any of our premium roasts at their best, day or night, hot or iced. Enjoy a fresh cup today. If you're out driving and something happens to your car, truck, or even wheelchair, and you end up stuck at a rail crossing, it's going to be okay. Don't panic. Here's what you do. Get out if you can and look for this blue sign on the metal pole. Call the number on the blue sign, and when they answer, tell them the crossing number. The number is right here. This tells them the exact location of the crossing. This is the fastest way to get trains stopped before coming through the crossing. Look for the blue. It helps you. All right, so much has happened here tonight. Grizzlies lead 4-2. to two. We're through two periods. Guy Krenz, what's happened here so far for the Grizzlies in the rush? Tyson, so much, so much has happened in this game. It's been a really entertaining one to watch. Uh, it's 4-2 Grizzlies right now. Here's how we got here. So it was Brandon Cutler that got the first goal of the game, 10:54 into the first period. That's his sixth of the year. Keep that in mind because he's a name that we're going to be talking about a lot in the Siegfried and Jensen intermission report. Later on in that period, 17:19 into the period, it was Calder Brooks for the Rapid City Rush, tying it at one. That's his 16th of the year. That was assisted by Narsino and Karens, two big names for the rush. And it was a 1-1 game as we headed into the second period. In the second period, the Grizzlies get up on the power play, and it's Terran Pfizer with his 11th goal of the year, assisted by Brandon Cutler and Cameron Wright. That made it a 2-1 game. And then after that, it was a 3-1 game on a goal by Brandon, Brandon Cutler, 11-14 into the second period. That was assisted by Dylan Fitz and Terran Pfizer. And then later on, on the power play, who else but Brandon Cutler getting his eighth of the year, completing the hat trick. And we're not even, two, we're only four minutes through the game as to this point and he's got three goals that's assisted by Andrew Nielsen and Cameron Wright it's a power play goal Grizzlies are two for two on the power play in this game the rush are 0 for two so Grizzlies dominating the special teams but the Grizzlies thought they'd have a 4-1 lead going into the locker room and the Rapid City rush said ah not so <laughs> not so fast as Calder Brooks got his second of the game his 17th of the year that was assisted by Helgeson and Karen's and so that made it a 2-4 game. But interesting to note that the Grizzlies did chase Daniil Chechelev. He's out of the net, and now it's Adam Carlson in the net for the Rapid City Rush. So bye-bye, Chechelev. His night <laughs> is done. As for the shots, Utah leads the shot count 28-20, to and they outshot the Rush 15-11 to in that period. Brandon Cutler, we mentioned his name a lot. Well, this guy's taken six shots in the game so far. He's got three goals, one assist. He's a plus two. He's having himself a heck of a night. Cam Strong and Dylan Fitch each have four shots. Tyson, the Grizzlies just really came out and had a dominant second period. Yeah, it's been the Brandon Cutler show. I guess he's going to be the number one star of the game. And if you had Brandon Cutler as your pick to click, guess what? You're a winner. Yeah, Tyson, I mean, I don't think there's any other guy that could really say anything about that. I mean, a hat trick in under 40 minutes. Brandon Cutler seems to be the man right now. Clean shaven, came out here with a jump in his step. Had a lot to prove, and he's got four points so far. How about the scoring chances? You think about six scoring chances for each side in the first period. Utah had 11 scoring chances in the second, according to the off-ice officials. Rapid City had six. And, you know, I think that's it's big. Not only that the Grizzlies are getting 28 shots for two periods, but they're getting... Um, they're getting so many scoring chances out of it. 17 of the 28 shots have been scoring chances. Yeah, Tyson, and that's just unbelievable. I mean, that just goes to show that the Grizzlies are taking shots, but they're getting quality opportunities. And I think that happens when you hustle and you play hard. And it's, it's an old cliche in sports, but that's what the Grizzlies are doing. And they're playing a really solid game. And they're just they're getting the most out of every opportunity. And that's why they're such a dangerous team to play against. You think about Trent Miner and Ned. I mean, both Brooks, uh, both goals have been scored by Calder Brooks, and both have been really good moves by Brooks late in the in the period. Otherwise, the Grizzlies' penalty kill once again has been strong, and the power play getting two goals. That's certainly big because the Grizzlies' power play earlier in the month of January was their bread and butter. Yeah, Tyson, and 
the Grizzlies are dominating the special teams department right now. They're two for two on the penalty kill and they're two for two on the power play. Uh, I think it's interesting that you mentioned Calder Brooks. He's having a really solid game. Uh, two goals tonight, and the second goal was really a work of art. Yeah. He blazed in with speed, made a really nice move, and beat Trent Miner, who was going for the poke check. But uh, I want to think about the Rapid City Rush, and the Grizzlies – haven't been able to neutralize Calder Brooks, but what they have been able to do is they've been able to neutralize Alex Aliardi, who's got uh, 38 points through 40 games in this in this season. Logan Nelson hasn't really have been that much of a dominant force, and Matt Marchino hasn't been that all that dominant for the Rapid City Rush. So I think about the Grizzlies, while they haven't been able to contain Brooks to a degree, uh, they've been done a really good job of shutting down most of the Rush's top players, and because of that, it's a 4-2 game. Grizzlies are 13-1, and but leading after two periods this year. The Grizzlies really trying to protect home ice with a victory. Then they can go to the 500 mark here at home with a record of 8-8. Eight and eight, as Right now they're 7-8. and eight. And that would clinch the series already, regardless of what happens tomorrow on Guns and Hoses night. You know, the Grizzlies here in the second game of the series, and they played really good hockey. And you know, it's great to see Taron Fizer. You know, he blocked that shot in the first period. He can't be 100%, but he's played outstanding. And you think about Fizer and Cutler, there's that natural chemistry that started long before this season as they were teammates for a couple seasons with the Victoria Royals in the WHL. Yeah, they played a really solid game. I mean, those two, you mentioned the chemistry that they have. They're really great. Hey, thanks, man. Uh, they, they have a really great amount of chemistry. Well, the Grizzlies fans, best fans in the league. Am I right? We got Coca-Cola yeah, now. Yeah, thank you. I think that was, uh, that was I think that was Colby Cool Kid on that, YouTube. It, that was. What a it cool guy. Was. Thank you, Colby. Um, but, I, I mean, again, Back to the Grizzlies and the chemistry that those two guys have. I mean, we're really starting to see it. And I want to, I actually want to draw this up and I'll, I'll give a good verbal description for you guys on the, uh, on oh, you the got flow the, sports side of things. You, you got the I, chalkboard I, board out? I got to bring out the board. All I right. Have, I have to bring out the board for this one because I want to draw up that Terran Pfizer power play goal. So, what's going to happen is the Grizzlies are going to win the draw here. Terran Pfizer immediately off the rip. He's going to come over and he's going to stand at the circle right here. This is Terran Pfizer number eight. What he's going to do is he's going to stand here and he's going to slowly drift to about here. Now off the face off, the Grizzlies are going to win it. They're going to get it to Brandon Cutler, number 29. You know, this 29, he's a heck of a guy and he's having a heck of a game. He's going to take the puck and he's going to go to the blue line and he's going to pick his head up and he's going to see a wide open Terran Pfizer. Nobody picks him up. Terran Pfizer is going to be at the left circle and he's just going to fire a howitzer right on Chechelev and it's going to go straight into the back of the net. Heck of a play by the Grizzlies. And that's one of those plays where if you're a coach like Kanasiewicz or Pike, that's a play that you draw up and that's something that you want to happen. That is a schemed play. Grizzlies win the draw. They get it to Cutler straight to Pfizer. Nobody picks him up. Just a bang, bang play. And... What a goal for the Grizzlies. He surprised after Cutler scored his second goal and it was the third goal scored by Utah. Are you surprised that they pulled Chechlev like they did? Only allowing three goals on 21 shots? Or is that... I, I'm i not surprised by it because we mentioned before that Chechlev was, one, kind of shaky to start this game. He was giving up some rebounds and he was not really holding on to pucks too well. And we saw him get frustrated. And I think the coaches for Rapid City, I think Scott Burt saw that frustration and said, hey, you know, this could get out of hand. And it did. He let in three. And I think at that point, Scott Burt said, you know what? If we're going to have any chance to win this game, we're going to have to pull the plug. And so he did pull the plug. He pulls Chechlov and he puts Carlson in there. And now you're in an interesting scenario where if the Grizzlies win this game, who do you see tomorrow on Guns and Hoses night? Is Good it Carlson question. or is it Chechlov? I do know that Carlson's been hot in the month of January. In fact, uh, in the month of January, in his last four starts, he's 3-1 and one with a 2.21 goals against an average and a 9.29 save percentage. So even though Carlson got off to a slow start first two and a half months of the season, he's really picked it up and has played really good in the month of January. And I think Scott Burt's hoping that, you know, that uh, Carlson can stop the bleeding a little bit and that Rapid City, with their good offensive attack, can find a way to, you know, slide their way back into this game. But the Grizzlies lead 4-2. And it's really been the Brandon Cutler and Taron Pfizer show and with a little bit of Cameron Wright and Andrew Nilsson, everybody mixed in there. I think it's been a really good defensive effort. I think Fitz has looked good tonight. So is Cam Strong and, and Martel. I almost have a feeling that uh, that line is going to be due for something here in the third period. Yeah, Tyson, those guys are playing really well. And I think the Grizzlies defense is doing really well. And two guys in particular, I think, are one, Corey Thomas, and two, Connor McDonald. Uh, the two guys that got in the fight. I forgot to mention the fight when we did the uh, the, the overview of the periods. I mean, how could I forget that? What a fighting like, moment. It looked like there was two fights, but yet they gave McDonald a roughing minor, and they gave Zach Court a double minor for roughing when 
It looked like a fight, didn't it? it, it gloves were dropped. Oh, Tyson, it was definitely a fight. I mean, the gloves were off, and Conor McDonald was swinging. I mean, I hate to be the guy in the end of that fight. Conor McDonald can throw him uh, better than anybody in this league, and he came out firing. So uh, I'm not sure how that wasn't a fighting major, but the Grizzlies did end up getting a, a power play out of that, and they yeah. scored on said power play. So that all worked out in the end for the Grizzlies, and that really fired up what's an, been amazing Maverick center crowd here tonight. It has been a, a great crowd, and I think the crowd's going to be even bigger tomorrow for Guns and Hoses night. We're having a lot of fun here at Maverick Center. For three two periods, Utah leads 4-2. to two. When we come back to the Siegfried and Jensen intermission report, we'll go over some scores from around the world of sports as the Grizzlies are up by two. You're on the Grizzlies Hockey Network, presented by Siegfried and Jensen. When you pay with the Nitro card at Maverick, you always save 10 cents or more on fuel every gallon, every day. And you could save a whole lot more thanks to Nitro Best Price. Pick up a Nitro card and upgrade your Adventure Club account today. I live for my next goal. Whether it's another pick six or another step forward in life, I wouldn't be who I am without the drive to reach it. And I wouldn't be where I am without my team. Everyone on and off the field who supports me and believes in my dreams as much as I do. Whatever your goals are, surround yourself with people who are gonna help you reach toward them. Like my friends at America First and see where life takes you. Maverick's new Bean to Cup machines always deliver a freshly ground cup of coffee on demand so you can enjoy any of our premium roasts at their best, day or night, hot or iced. Enjoy a fresh cup today. If you're out driving and something happens to your car, truck, or even wheelchair, and you end up stuck at a rail crossing, it's going to be okay. Don't panic. Here's what you do. Get out if you can and look for this blue sign on the metal pole. Call the number on the blue sign, and when they answer, tell them the crossing number. The number is right here. This tells them the exact location of the crossing. This is the fastest way to get trains stopped before coming through the crossing. Look for the blue. It helps you. Second intermission, Utah leads 4-2. to two. Thanks to Colby and Son for giving us these Coca-Colas here. Yeah, yeah, thank you, Colby. The high top section 114. Finals in the league tonight. Trois Riviera leads Adir defeats Adirondack four to two. Jacksonville over Indy five to four. Toledo defeats Kalamazoo three to two. In overtime, Worcester over Reading seven to six. Norfolk gets their seventh victory of the season. They shut out Maine three nothing. Florida defeats South Carolina four to three. Orlando over Savannah three to one. Newfoundland over Cincinnati two to one. Allen gets a five four victory over Tolson. That was in regulation. Fort Wayne over Iowa, 5-2. Kansas City gets a one-goal victory, 3-2 over Wheeling. So regardless of what happens tonight, uh, Utah will stay in fifth place in the Mountain Division as Kansas City gets their 17th win of the season. Idaho leads Wichita 2-0 that game in the second intermission. And that's a pretty good series. Battle of the top two teams in the Mountain Division record-wise. Grizzlies have yet to face Wichita this season. It'll certainly be interesting when the Grizzlies face the Thunder because they look like they're an outstanding team. As Idaho got second period goals from Owen Hedrick and A.J. White as the two goals were scored a minute and 38 apart. Idaho leads Wichita 4-2. And, guy, you think about, you know, the Mountain Division standings. You got Idaho in first place, Wichita in second, Rapid City right now in third with Kansas City in fourth. And the Grizzlies are in fifth place with a 461 points percentage and 35 points for back of Kansas City. Allen is in sixth place with 33 points, and Tulsa bringing up the rear with 31. But I think about the last 10 games, Grizzlies really picked it up, and I think it's actually their best 10-game stretch of the season. They played really well here in the month of January, and you know it looks like it's just continuing here with the four-goal performance in the first two periods 
here tonight. And you think about protecting home ice. That's certainly big here in the second half of the season for the Grizzlies. Because starting tonight, 21 of their last 34 games will be here at home. Yeah, Tyson, I agree with that sentiment that the Grizzlies are playing their best hockey right now. Uh, they've been incredible. It seems like ever since the turn of the 2023 calendar year. And I think it started back when they saw these guys in Rapid City. They've yep. been great ever since. And uh, it, it's just, it's really good to see the Grizzlies finally coming together. I think what we've noticed and what, what I've noticed and what I've seen is that it seems like Coach Kanasovich has found the lines that he's like. He's found the lines that have the most chemistry together and he's getting the most out of that. The Grizzlies are playing great right now and I think they're, they're going to have a, a really great shot at making the playoffs and going deep in the playoffs. And it starts here with protecting home ice. And you think about, you know, what Trent Miner's done in net, being outstanding here in the month of January. But you also think about having Lucas Breek and Garrett Metcalf on the roster. They've got three really good options. And it's great here in the month of January to not only see Cameron Wright play well, and he's had another good game here tonight as Wright already with two assists. You know, he has eight goals and four assists here in the month of January. The 12 points lead the Grizzlies. And obviously Brandon Cutler has a goal in three straight games. He's already got three goals and one assist tonight. And Taron Pfizer already a multiple-point game with one goal and one assist. Yeah, Tyson, if you're Coach Kanasiewicz and Jared Bike, you got to be grinning from ear to ear seeing that because there's nothing better than having a lot of depth, especially going down and towards the end of the season into the postseason. I mean, any given guy on any given night on this Grizzlies team can go off and win a game for you. You have three really solid goaltenders that you can turn to. That's the kind of stuff that not only wins you games, but can potentially win you playoff series. Yeah. And the Grizzlies winning two playoff series last year, getting to the Western Conference Finals for the first time since 2008. This broadcast is presented by Rio Tinto Kennecott, providing premier American copper and proudly celebrating 120 years of operation in the Utah community. Great to have Rio Tinto as a partner of Utah Grizzlies Hockey. Grizzlies Hockey also brought to you by Coca-Cola, where real magic is only a sip away. By Operation Lifesaver Utah. See tracks, think train. Grizzlies Hockey also brought to you by Sickbreed and Jensen, who provide the Sickbreed and Jensen intermission report at every Grizzlies game. Sickbreed and Jensen personal attorney injuries, attorneys. And Grizzlies Hockey also brought to you by Maverick, adventurous first stop. 20 minutes around the scoreboard clock here at Maverick Center. As Utah leads 4-2. Brandon Cutler already penciled in as the number one star of the game with three goals and one assist. It's going to be big here for the Grizzlies early on in the third period to not let Rapid City get back in it. Each of Rapid City's two goals have been scored in the final three minutes of the of each period. Jameis will take the drive. He's got... Cutler to his left, right to his right, and the Grizzlies are going to be on the power play the first 38 seconds of this third period. Pfizer and Nilsson are up top. As a draw one by Rapid City. As Kenton Helgeson will glide it towards Taron Pfizer is in the Grizzlies zone. Pfizer over to Nilsson as a Grizzlies skate from right to left. As we see it, Nilsson goes tape to tape to Pfizer. He gains a line back towards Nilsson, but it goes between Nilsson and right. Is back to Rapid City. Rush ahead to Logan Nelson. Grizzlies back defensively as Nelson towards the left side will bounce it off the boards. Pfizer gets it. As we have 12 seconds left in the Grizzlies abbreviated power play to start the third period. It was a full two minutes as you tied a minute and 22 there at the end of the second period. As Wright gets hit by Wickers, Rapid City will throw it towards the right point. Utah keeps it in. Rapid City's back at full strength as Rory Karens is out of the box. Right wing shot saved by Carlson. He holds on. Carlson stops six of seven in the second period as he replaced Danil Chechelev after Brandon Cutler scored Utah's third goal to make it a 3-1 game. Chechelev stopped 18 of 21. So Tyson, the Grizzlies have a 4-2 lead right now, and that's a pretty comfortable lead, two goals. But I got to think that that last goal by Brooks for Rapid City in that period kind of throws a wrench in things if you're the Grizzlies because uh, the two-goal lead is the most dangerous lead in sports. Utah wins the faceoff. Martel trying to throw it to the corner. Picked off by Calder Brooks, who's on hat trick watch himself to see as both the Rapid City's goals. Dylan Fitz in the left side, crosses center, and he gets poked away by Marshno. Now Karens gets the puck. He'll skate down the middle, throw a right wing pass to Marshno. Marshno back to Karens, trying to drop it back off from Marshno. He's cutting towards the net. Now Brooks gets it, shot saved by Miner. Brooks gets it, Matt swings and misses. Brooks gets knocked down by Bartley. Puck goes back to Bryce Martin, who chips it high into the air, just under the video board at center ice. 
Taken by Colton Leader as the Grizzlies make a line change. Leader nudges ahead to center ice, but it's taken by Shearer. Shearer gains the line left side. will bounce it over towards Carlson, who kicks it back to the corner. Raby trying to get back up top for Pfizer, and it's picked off by Aliardi. Aliardi crosses center ice. He doesn't have numbers, so he dumps it in. Rush make a line change behind him. A minute and a half into the third period, Rush lead, or Grizzlies lead 4-2. to two. Kenton Elgison with a shot that goes wide as Penner will get it over to Cutler. Cutler's already got three goals tonight. He chips over to Fires on the left side. Back to Cutler's on his backside. He'll take a backhand shot saved by Carlson. Now Nilsson slot shot on the, the rush. Got a stick in the way. So shot goes wide. Nilsson over to Pfizer. He's on the left side. Back up top for Nilsson. He'll skate towards his right. Back to Shearer. Shot in his block. Now scans. Cutler takes a shot. He scores! Brandon Cutler gets his fourth of the game! And Utah's extended the lead. It's 5-2! to two. Unbelievable! Unbelievable! Have a night, Brandon Cutler. Four goals and one assist. <laughs> well, I think every single Grizzlies player, aside from Brandon Cutler, has got to pitch in and buy him dinner after this game. Maybe a nice steak or something, because Brandon Cutler, right on the store at the doorstep, puts it right through the wickets of Carlson for his fourth goal of the game. Unreal. Brandon Cutler had five goals and 15 games coming into play tonight. He's got four this evening. As Utah leads 5-2, to two, Rapid City gets the puck, and he'll throw it over towards center ice. As Cutler, Coda battling along with Wright. As Thomas gets hit. Raby in the near corner. As Rapid City looks to center, Coda's shot goes wide. As the puck goes towards the far side, Grizzlies get it in their own zone. As Cameron Wright throws it out to Raby, it's picked off by Rapid City as it goes back to Wright. And Rapid City gets it at their blue line. He'll chip it across to Robertson. Now right wing pass Yamamoto across to Robertson who skates towards the right circle. Robertson looks to center to Iverson, passes wide of the mark. Nikolaev gets it poked away by Jamison. No icing as the Grizzlies make a full line change. Three minutes into the third period, Brandon Cutler has four goals and one assist. This goes out to center ice on to Victor Bartley in the Grizzlies zone. Bartley across as Grizzlies. Bryce Martin cross ice pass to Martell, gets around leader. And he goes to the corner. Cam Strong gets there, trying to drop it back off for the Rooster. Goes back to Strong in the near side. And Martel lost the puck over in the corner, so he was trying to locate it. Nikolaev gets it. He skates down the middle. Nikolaev crosses center ice. No feed it to the left. Grizzlies back defensively. Left point, lefty shot. Glove saved by Miner. That shot was taken by Lucas Fuke, number 11. He's got one goal in 28 games this season. That one goal came in early January against the Grizzlies. Still amazing what Brandon, like, still can't go over what Brandon Cutler's done tonight. Tyson, I can't believe it. I can't remember the last time I saw a player in this league have four goals in one game. It, it's just incredible. Utter dominance from yeah, Cutler. I got to think about the last time a Grizzly had four goals in a game. It's been a few years. I remember Ty Lewis had four goals against Wichita. Wichita's goaltender that night was in a, is now an NHL All-Star, Stuart Skinner. Utah won 8-2 to two that night. I think it might have happened one time after that. Rapsy wins the faceoff. Shot is blocked. Nilsson trying to get over to Penner. His Cutler's on the ice with four goals. He's never going to grow a mustache the rest of his life after tonight's game. As Karen skates in right side, shot blocked by Shearer. Shearer spins it along the far boards. Nilsson gets it. He'll throw it out to the slot. Gets bounced off a Rapid City stick and, fly, a stick and flies to neutralize. As Holsdorf over there with Cutler. Goes back to Kenton Helgeson. He'll feed the near side. It's Matt Marshnow. We'll nudge it ahead. As Rapid City's Calder Brooks has got two goals tonight. He'll skate towards the middle. Now feed it to the right side for Karens. Karens gets hit by Penner on the referee spotted a penalty. As Brandon Cutler now with a push for Calder Brooks. Penner's going to the penalty box as he knocked down a Rapid City skater along the near board somewhat awkwardly. 15-51 left in the third. Penner's in the Rogers and Russell Legal Solutions holding cell. Two minutes. It's like cross-checking is going to be the call. Well, Tyson, as, as much as Grizzlies fans would like to voice their displeasure with that call, I, I think it is a good call. That's a dangerous play down by the boards where you just have that space in between where the hit is made, and it was a cross-check. But you got a guy dangerously falling into the boards head first. Uh, that's a good call. Time of Penner's penalty, 4.09 into the third period. Two minutes for cross-checking. It's the Grizzlies 5 and the rush 2. 
It's the 11th game for the Grizzlies in the month of January. They've now scored 34 goals in the month. As Logan Nelson will take the draw against Keaton Jamison. Draw one by Rapid City. Zolsdorf will take a pass to his left. Kind of bobbles the puck for a little bit. Gets to Aliardi. Back to Zolsdorf. He'll feed it to the right side for Nelson at the point. Back to Zolsdorf. They'll take a lefty shot that goes high. Bounces off the glass. Connor McDonald skates towards the far corner. Gets it ahead to right. Bounced off his stick. Rapid City keeps it in. Nelson the right side over towards Nikolaev. Back to Aliardi. Skates towards his right. Shot blocked by Thomas. McDonald skates towards the corner. Gets the puck and clears it out. Adam Carlson plays it behind his net. He has allowed two goals, both of them to Brandon Cutler. Pass out the center ice. Bounced off a stick as Cutler throws it back to Bartley. Bartley in the Grizzly zone as Utah is shorthanded. He'll feed it to the far side for sure. The former Brandon Wheat King captain ahead to Fitz. Fitz skates towards the right circle. Looks his center to Raby. And it bounced off of Zolsdorf. Fitz skates towards the near boards. No ramping around. Cut off by Carlson behind the net. Taken by Zolsdorf. About five minutes into the third period. Utah leads 5-2. to two. Grizz have outshot the rush. 32-21. to 21. Zolsdorf skates down the middle. And so feed it ahead. Now to neutralize. They dish it out to Marchino. Back towards Karen's the left side, looking for a toe drag. It's poked away by Shearer. Pitts gets the puck two on three. Skates towards the right circle. He winds and fires. Shot goes high. As it glides off the near board, sticking back by Bartley. He'll dump it in as Carlson plays it behind his net. Grizzlies make a line change. Less than 50 seconds left in the rush power play. Utah's up by three. As Colton Leader gains center ice, now drops it off. Now the rush cross center ice again and dump it in. As Rapid City holding their faces if they're hit with a high stick along the near boards. As now goes back to Colton Leader. He'll ski towards his left. Back to the far side near the circle. As Karen's over towards Leader. Now across to Marshno. Back to Leader. He'll feed it to the left side for Karen's. Back to Marshno. Right circle will throw up behind his back for Leader. Now to Karen's. He's trying to feather it out in front to Marshno. Pass goes off the boards. Leader back towards Coda. Pass goes over a stick. As Pfizer tried to feed it ahead towards Cam Strong. Pass was wide of the mark. Outlet pass connects. Matt Marshno skates in. He'll take a shot. Saved by Miner. Arm is raised by the referee. There's going to be a penalty. Slashing's a call. And who's it going to be on? Penner's out of the penalty box. We're skating five on five. And out. It's going to be Andrew Nelson. Getting two minutes for slashing. And Rapid City goes back on the power play. 13-49 left in the third. Utah leads 5-2 to two as Brandon Cutler now has four goals and one assist on the Grizzlies Hockey Network. Type of night where you might have to look at the record book. Roger Orr in the off ice official says that he came, the Cutler came pretty close to getting his fifth goal of the game. In the Rogers and Russell Legal Solutions holding cell is Andrew Nilsson. Two minutes for slashing. Time of penalty 6 11 into the third period. If you were someone you know been charged with a DUI, Rogers and Russell is Utah's DUI defense firm. Consequences for driving under the influence in Utah are serious. And you need great attorneys on your first line. Look for a letter in the mail from Rogers and Russell inviting you to schedule a free consultation. Don't throw away or disregard this letter. Call and get Utah's best DUI defense team. Rogers and Russell. Draws going to be in the right circle. Andrew uh, Logan Nelson will take it against Keaton Jamison for Utah. Andrew Nelson leads the Grizzlies in penalty minutes with, hey, he's now hit the century mark. Andrew Nelson is 99th in 100th penalty minutes of the season. And Utah leads 5-2. to two. Trying to think of anybody else scored four goals since Ty Lewis did back a few years ago on December 17th of 2019. So draw one by Rapid City. As Logan Nelson, the right side, feed it towards the corner. Buke back to Nelson near the boards. Now to Zolzdorf in the high slot over Aliardi. He fakes a one-timer. Now Nikolai down the middle takes a shot. Say rebound, shot and a score. Nikolaev took the first shot, and it looked like the rebound connected to Lucas Fuke, who gets the second of the season. Both goals as a pro here in this league have come against the Grizzlies here in the month of January as Fuke high-fives everybody on the rush bench. 
It's a power play goal for Rapid City. Only the third power play goal allowed by the Grizzlies in the month of January. And it's a 5-3 game. Well, Tyson, as good as the Grizzlies penalty kill unit has been, you take enough penalties and eventually one's going to go in. Really good play. Fuca standing in the middle of the slot. Three and four Grizzlies around him, and they just can't cover him. And he ends up putting it right through the wickets of Miner. So good play by the rush. Puck goes out to Neutrice after the Grizzlies win the faceoff as we're skating five on five. Kenton Helgeson dumps it in on Thomas. Back to Penner. He'll throw a left wing pass to Cutler. Cutler feeds the Pfizer on the right side. Cutler, the Pfizer, skates towards the right circle, takes a shot. They glance off a rush stick and flies out of play. On the goal that Rapid City scored, it was a power play tally. Duke gets the second of the season. Ilya Nikolaev with the assist. And he also gave an assist to number 12, but I don't see a number 12 on the, on the Rapid City roster. So um, not sure he got that other assist, but it's a 5 3 game. Maybe they meant Iverson. I, I don't know. No 12. As the draw on the right circle, won by Rapid City in their own zone. They'll lift it out to center ice, bouncing puck near minor. Thomas chases after it. No icing as Thomas gets the puck and he'll spin it towards the far boards. Grizzlies get it back to Tyler Penner. He crosses center ice right wing. Penner stops as Karen's caught up to him. Puck goes back to the neutral ice. McDonald feeds it across to Thomas. Back to McDonald is in the Grizzlies zone. Seven minutes into the third period. It's 5-3 Utah. Thomas ahead to Pfizer, passes wide of the mark. Pfizer skates over there trying to negate the icing, but icing is called with 12.48 left in regulation. So with 12.48 left in the game, the Grizzlies are up 5-3. to three. I wonder at what point, if the Rush don't score anytime soon, what point do they think that you might consider pulling the goalie? I, I just, I don't know. I feel like the Grizzlies are still playing a really solid game. But I, I feel like that last goal lets the rush kind of creep back into this one. We want to thank Kathleen Boynton for reminding me that Travis Barron scored four goals, including three shorthanded. That was against Rapid City in May of 2021. As Rapid City wins the draw, right wing leader shot saved by Minor. Trent holds on. I think Charlie Gerard also had four goals in the regular season finale that year against Fort Wayne, if I remember right. As there's 12.43 left in the third period. Nasty had some amazing games for the Grizzlies, but I think the most he had in the contest was three. And it's what an effort by Brandon Cutler tonight. 5-3 Grizzlies. Utah wins the draw. They're in their own zone as Dakota Raby will carry it out to the center ice right wing. He'll bounce it off the boards. So goes back over to Cameron Wright. Centering pass. Shot. Jamison saved by Carlson. Boy, what an idea there as Wright was in the right side, just kind of chipped it in front to Jamison, and Keaton had a pretty good look there, but the save was made by Carlson. Yeah, Tyson, really good look there for Jamison, and uh, he was so frustrated and upset that he didn't get that one. He kind of just looked up into the rafters. and uh, Sometimes you do that. You just look up to the heavens and get, go, why? Sometimes it's all you can do. Yep. Grizzlies won the draw. Cameron right in the right side. Chips it out in front looking for Jamison. It bounced off a rush skater towards the corner. As the net gets dislodged on Carlson's end for the second time tonight, Carlson argues that he was interfered with and a penalty should be on the Grizzlies. As he argues with Riley Brace, one of the two referees. Draws to be in the right circle as Utah still leads 5-3. to three. Second of a three-game series here. Utah won on Wednesday night, 3-1. to one. The Grizzlies will have guns and hoses night. 6.50 pregame show, 7-10 faceoff. For a member, we got two charity games starting at 1 o'clock. Doors will open at noon, and you're going to want to come and watch a full day of hockey with us. I might just sit right here all day tomorrow just watch hockey. I could go for that. As the Rush win the faceoff, they throw it into the Grizzlies zone. Sure over to Nilsson. They'll move it ahead to center ice. Pucks high into the air. Bounces at Raby's ankle. He'll feed it to the right side for Wright. Wright skates towards the right circle now around the Rush net. As Wright's got two assists tonight. Over to Shearer. Shearer's on the left side. Skates in, back end shot is blocked. Right hacks away towards the net. Carlson makes a save and covers up. Now after the whistle, some pushing and shoving. And even 12 minutes left in the third. As Keaton Jamison got close to Carlson and Rapid City trying to protect him. And some action there along the end boards. Don't know if any penalties will come of it. You know that real estate out in front of the net is valuable. Wins a lot of hockey games for teams. 
Yeah, Tyson, I don't know if we're going to see a penalty here, but Keaton Jameson was very upset. So upset that he just decided to go and bear hug a rush player and just <laughs> drag him down behind the net. Uh, I don't know if they're going to escort him to the Rogers and Russell legal solution holding cell. It looks like he's going to go back to the Grizzlies bench, but Keaton Jameson, not very happy after that last play. Charles giving in the rush zone. No penalties. As faceoff's going to be in the right circle. Grizzlies up to 35 shots. Rapid City's taking 25. Yeah, everybody wanted to get after Keaton Jamison there. Hey, you know you got a good defensive unit when you just do you go all out and trying to protect your goaltender out in front of the net. Jamison's got a job to be there with the real estate and try to deflect something or any sort of rebound, be there in the right place at the right time, and obviously Rapid City's got to protect their goaltender at any cost. Yeah, and the funny thing is it wasn't even Keaton Jamison that was getting in the face of Chetula. It was actually Dakota Raby, and Jamison took offense to the rush, taking offense to Raby being in uh, Carlson's crease, and so that's when he goes and he goes, he bear hugs the rush players, and they kind of just all sandwich each other in the far corner. Uh, but good on Keaton Jamison for standing up for his teammate. Logan Nelson will take the draw against Cam Strong. As Martell and Fitz are out in the ice. Bartley and Martin, the defensive pairing. Grizzlies win the draw. Martin, right point. Shot is blocked. Now over to the right wing. Shot by Martell, saved by Carlson. Martell in the right corner throws it up top for Martin. Across to Bartley. Couldn't handle the pass. Goes to Aliardi. Across the center ice, two on two. Aliardi gains the line. Aliardi gets blasted by Bartley. Both guys wear number 42. Martin gets hit really hard by Nelson behind Miner's net. Arm is raised by the referee. Martel skates in. Backhand shot, and he doesn't score. He missed the net as Carlson was way out of his crease. Rapid City touches up. What happened there? Oh, well, Tyson, if you ever think that you're having a bad night, try being Jordan Martel. Check to left, or excuse me, Carlson came way out of the crease trying to poke check that. Martel went right around him, had a wide open net. And he found nothing but iron. He hits the post. Wide open net. Jordan Martell. Oh, I feel bad for you, buddy. Grizzlies lead 5-3. to three. About the time he took the shot, man stood up in front of me. They show a replay. Carlson went way out. Very aggressive. And Martell hit the post. <laughs> he hit the post on the near side. Oh. And Carlson, very aggressive, trying to cut off Martell. Penalties on Rapid City. It's... Logan Nelson, two minutes for a hit to the head. Illegal head contact, says Chris Hagen, the PA announcer. Time of penalty, 8.30 into the third period. So Nelson's in the penalty box. Grizzlies, two power play goals tonight. They go back to work. As Rapid City wins the faceoff and clears it all the way out towards Trent Miner. Miner cuts it off in front of the goal line and still bouncing off the end wall. Nelson across the right. He's got two assists tonight. Right, we'll skate towards the right wing. We'll drop it back off for Pfizer in the Grizzlies zone. Pfizer has one goal and one assist. As Pfizer across to Cutler's head. About as good a night as anybody's had all year. Cutler throws to the right corner. Pfizer skates over there. Gets it, drops it off looking for Jamison, but Brooks cuts in front of it. Brooks has had a good night, and he clears it all the way out. Rush make a line change. Grizzlies keep the same five-man unit out there. 40 seconds into the power play as Nelson faked it towards his back. Now he drops it off for Cutler. Cutler at his blue line will stop near the Grizzlies bench. He falls down, delivers a pass while on his backside to right. Right in neutral, he stumps it in. Carter Robertson throws to the far side. Cut off by Cutler. He gets hit. Rapid City takes the puck. Rush have to be aggressive. Shorthanded. Three on three. They'll carry it into the zone. Marshall skates in. Shot blocker saved by Miner. As Nelson battling with Helgeson. As Nelson gets the puck, as that court lost his stick, it's laying on the ice. Nelson back in his own zone in front of Miner. 45 seconds left in the power play. As Nilsson still in his own zone. He'll feed it to the left side for Raby. Raby crosses center ice. He'll gain the blue line. Skates towards the corner, being shadowed by Robertson. Raby back towards the right side. Loses the puck as Rapid City gets it. Rush toss in the head. Bouncing puck taken by Rory Karens. He'll drop it off for Yamamoto. Skates towards the left circle. It takes a shot that goes wide. Yamamoto will look to center it towards Karens. It bounced off the stick of Martin. Yamamoto back to Karens on the right side. He'll feed it up top for Wickers, but the pass is behind him. And all the way back, deep in the rush zone. Ten seconds left in the Grizzlies' power play as Max Cota gets the puck. Make that Wickers, no bouncing off the near glass. Taken by Cam Strong in the Grizzlies' zone. Strong gets around Aliardi, crosses center ice. 
Nelson's out of the penalty box as Strong skates over, side of the net. And for the third time tonight, Adam Carlson kicks the net open as there's 9.25 left in the third period. Draw's going to be in the rush zone. Strong was skating towards the far side, got around a couple bodies, looked for a sharp angled shot. And Carlson kicked the net open for the third time tonight. He is pleading that's not his fault as they're going to get some ice maintenance people out there to work on it. Yeah, Tyson and Cam Strong wasn't happy about that. He was pointing at Carlson saying, hey, he kicked the net off. And Adam, it wasn't me. Carlson responds and says, <laughs> hey, hey, it wasn't me. And he goes to the referee. And gonna, I guess now gonna they're going to start singing the Shaggy song. <laughs> well, I, guess, I guess they're now trying to go down there and maybe get that cleared up. But I, I really like the way the Grizzlies came out and, and finished this third period, or came out and started to play this third period. They came out with a lot of aggressiveness, really came out to play. And they really didn't sit back. Attendance tonight, 7,382. 7,382 is the attendance here on a Friday night. Great Friday night crowd. We're probably going to have an even bigger crowd tomorrow night for Guns and Hoses. As they work on the ice, 925 left in the third period. And it's right there on the peg there where Adam Carlson kicked the net open. It's happened once or twice, though, with Trent Miner tonight as well. As Grizzlies... 35 shots to Rapid City's 26. Draw taken by Penner and the Grizzlies. It's won by Penner over to the right point. McDonald's shot. It gets redirected and goes wide. Tyler Penner and Adam Carlson collided. Holding's going to be the call. And who's the penalty going to be on? I think it's going to be on Carlson. Somebody's got to represent Carlson in the penalty box as he held... Tyler Penner as Penner is to the side of the net trying to get around it. Oh, you bet. Carlson gave Penner a bear hug, so Penner couldn't <laughs> go after the puck. So it's going to be a penalty on Adam Carlson. Somebody's going to have to represent him in the penalty box with 920 left here in the third period. Well, Tyson, I think Carlson, I think he threw away the letter from Rodgers and Russell. <laughs> somebody, now he's got to get somebody to defend him. I mean, don't throw away that letter. If they send you a letter, don't throw it away. Carlson, he, he threw it away. He and now disregarded he's the letter. He's got to represent him down here in the penalty box. Oh, he can't disregard the letter. Do not disregard the letter. Grizzlies are back on the power play. They lead 5-3 to three as Adam Carlson gets a penalty. Let's see. Representing Carlson in the penalty box. Oh, I can't see. I'm too short to look down there. <laughs> right, we'll take the face off for Utah against Calder Brooks. Draw one by Ramsey's Helgeson. Lose the puck over towards the far side is right. They dish it up top for Nilsson. Nilsson back to the corner for Cutler. He's got four goals and one assist tonight. Cutler back to the far side for Jamison. Back to Cutler up top for Nilsson. Nilsson, right point, takes a lefty shot, he scores! And his baby's in the refrigerator! It's Andrew Nilsson now has a power play goal and back to Matt Gaines. And Utah is taking a 6-3 to three lead. That's Nilsson's sixth goal of the season. Another power play point for Nilsson. His fourth power play goal of the year. As he was just over the right side, had plenty of room, and just sniped one past Adam Carlson. Grizzlies had three goals against Chechlev and three goals against Carlson. 9-0-1 left in the third period. They lead 6-3. to three. Well, Tyson, Carlson took a bad penalty, threw away the letter, what have you, and the Grizzlies made him pay. Guess we got an assist on the Nilsson goal. Brandon Cutler, he's now at six points tonight. Oh, my goodness. What a night this guy is having. Brandon Cutler, he's unstoppable right now. Grizzlies are going to get a penalty as Nikolai looks like he got hit with a high stick. And now Keegan Iverson yelling at one of the referees. Iverson unhappy. Looks like Iverson's been tossing this game. 8.51 left in the third as Iverson's walking to the locker room. So Keegan Iverson looks like he's been tossed. Probably a misconduct. With less than 10 minutes left in regulation. So we're starting to see a lot of penalties, and we're starting to see tempers start to flare. And I think this is something that we could see carry over into tomorrow night's game, Guns and Hoses night, where the Grizzlies are going to be wearing those jerseys, especially jerseys for Guns and Hoses. And those are the jerseys that the Grizzlies wore during warm-ups tonight. Those are going to be available for auction starting tomorrow. So you can get your hands on one of those jerseys uh, through the Dash auction app. Uh, make a bid, win the jersey, and they look really sharp. They're a white jersey with the Guns and Hoses logo on the front. And some red and blue trimming, really nice. So you can get your hands on those tomorrow. 
Uh, but I really think that while the Grizzlies look like they're going to win this game, we're starting to see tempers flare. This could definitely carry over in tomorrow night's game. It could be a very spirited affair. Spirited games between the Grizzlies and Rush. Who would have thought? It seems to always be the case when these teams meet. Looks like, looks like Keegan Iverson gets... Two minutes for charging a 10-minute misconduct. So he's out of the game and he's in the locker room. Grizzlies win the draw. They feed it over to the right side. Brandon Cutler's got six points tonight. Cutler to the right circle. Trying to drop it off. Cameron Wright gets tripped up. No cause. Matt Marchino, right side, will carry into the zone one on three. Marshall gets it poked away by Nilsson. Nilsson gets the puck. He's got one goal and two assists tonight. As Grizzlies along the far corner get the puck and they'll skate along the far side as the Grizz are up by three as Cameron Wright drops it across for Jamison. Up ahead to Pfizer. He skates to the right circle. Take a shot that goes wide. Puck goes to the left side for Jamison. He'll get to right in the left side. Right back to Jamison. Back to Wright, who's along the near goal line. Now up top for Pfizer. He skates over towards Cutler. Gives him a pass. Cutler on the right side loses the puck. Aliardi hits Cutler. Aliardi gets the puck. Three on two for the rush. As Aliardi skates down the middle. He'll throw it out to Nikolai. Right wing shot saved by Miner. Rebound goes out to the right corner as hit delivered by Nilsson. Now Nilsson pushes Aliardi. And so whistle blows. Now do it for the Grizzlies power play as Nilsson really wants to go after Alex Aliardi. Big hit in the corner, and then Nilsson pushed Aliardi. So Nilsson's going to get a penalty. Rapid City skates over there. Now it looks like Colton Leader wants to get after it with Brandon Cutler. Linesmen are between them. Nilsson really wants a piece of Aliardi. The linesman aggressively tells Andrew Nilsson to not go after Aliardi. Looks like Nilsson's going to get escorted to the penalty box. 7.46 left in the third. Utah's up 6-3. to three. As Nilsson's in the box. As he just went after Aliardi there after a big hit in the corner. Yeah, Tyson, I think Aliardi hits Nielsen, and Nielsen takes offense to that. He comes back, hits Aliardi, and then while he's down, it looks like he cross-checked him in the back of the head. You can't do that. And Andrew Nielsen, I, I, I appreciate your tenacity, and I appreciate you know the physicality that you bring to your game, but you just can't let your temper get the most. You can't let that emotion get to you. Uh, you just you got to rein it in at some point. He ends up taking a penalty here. So there's 55 seconds left in the Iverson penalty. He got two for charging and a 10-minute misconduct. We'll see what Nelson ends up getting. So it looks like hey, best case for the Grizzlies would be five on or be four on four for a little bit. Now Nelson's going to the locker room. So it looks like Nelson's probably got a misconduct or a game misconduct as Nelson. With one goal and two assists tonight, might be one of the three stars of the game. Maybe wanted to get a fight to complete the Gordie Howe hat trick. It'd be the second Gordie Howe hat trick this year as Keaton Jamison got that um, against Idaho in a game earlier this year. That wasn't Idaho, but it was somewhere in the month of December where Jamison got it. That's right. I do remember the Keaton Jamison Gordie Howe hat trick game. What a night that was, and what a night we're having here tonight. Brandon Cutler's having himself. A one for the ages, and the Grizzlies are really playing a really good game. So it looks like Nelson gets two minutes for cross-checking. And a 10-minute continuation penalty. So Nelson's in the locker room. Time of that, those penalties, 12-24, or 12-14 uh, into the third period. Draws on the right side, won by the Grizzlies. We're skating four on four for 55 seconds. Utah wins the faceoff in their own zone. As pass ahead to Raby. Raby gets around Nikolaev. Now to center ice. Utah leads six to three as Cam Strong gets the puck. He gets poked away by Zolsdorf, who gets it. Zolsdorf feeds it across to Nelson. Nelson towards Nikolaev. Trying to nudge it back to Zolsdorf as he faked the shot. Grizzlies get it. Raby. Right side steps over the line as he skates towards the right circle. Raby with the lefty shot that goes wide. Puck glides towards the near boards. Logan Nelson crosses center ice. He's surrounded by two Grizzlies. Poked away by Martin. Bartley gets it. 18 seconds left in the four on four. Up ahead. Martin skates towards the left side. As he'll chip it across to Penner. Penner on the left side will back it out to neutralize. He'll feed it to Corey Thomas, who's at the Utah blue line. 
He'll move it ahead to Penner. Penner gets the puck. He skates towards the near boards to get it. Rapid sees back at full strength, and now they're on a power play. Penner centering pass to Jamison. Shot saved by Carlson. And puck goes out of play off the protective netting. 6.47 left in the third. It's a Grizzly six in the rush three. Listen, once again, Keaton Jamison looks up to the rafters. Got another really good look out in front of the net. Just Not another look to the heavens. Just, just couldn't get it on net. He deflected it high and out. Poor Keaton Jamison. That's twice that he's just looked straight up into the stars. Yeah, he's been had an outstanding month of January, and what he's done a good job of is getting out in front of the net. As Grizzlies win the face off, pass it up top, kicks off the skate of Thomas, rolls towards Miner in front of the crease. He'll throw an outlet pass to center ice for Penner. Pass goes tape to tape to Jamison. Left side, shot blocked. Jamison gets it back. He's being surrounded by Colton Leader. Leader with a hit. And Rap City gets the puck. They'll feed a cross ice pass to the right for Marshno. He'll step over the blue line as Marshno. Right point stops and feeds to the corner for Coda, who gets hit pretty hard by McDonald. On the left side, the rush get it to Calder Brooks. Back towards Coda. Thomas pokes it back to McDonald. Back over to Thomas in the far side, and Corey will clear it out. 20 seconds left in the third period. Rapsi did score a power play goal in the third frame that was scored by Lucas Fuke on a rebound. As Rush thrown out to the left side, Marshno will drop it back off for Brooks. Back over towards Marshno, taken away by Pfizer. We'll tap it out to center ice. Kenton Helgeson over towards Robertson. As Penner standing up in the penalty box, he comes out. It's actually Pouncey at the beginning of the penalty. Right side, Marshno shot, save. Rebound goes to Bartley. So it's Pouncey that got the penalty. As puck goes to... Robertson, he's being shadowed by Pouncey. He's playing four tonight. Out to center ice. Robinson crosses center ice and dumps it in. As Actually, Pouncey was representing Nilsson in the box. That was Nilsson's penalty. And Pouncey was just representing him as Nilsson also got the 10 minutes. Raby as Aaron Tho goes to Cutler. Cutler's got six points tonight. Cutler will dump it in. Andrew Nilsson had six assists in early November against Kansas City. Rush cross center ice as Nikolaev gets around Bryson Martin. Martin holds up Nikolaev, and that's going to be a penalty as Nikolaev got around Bryson Martin, and Martin, to combat him, held him up. So it's going to be a two-minute penalty for Martin, and after the whistle, some pushing and some words being exchanged behind Utah's net. It's a Grizzly six and the Rush three. We're back in one minute to find out how this one ends. As Martin goes to the Rogers and Russell Legal Solutions holding cell, this is Utah Grizzlies Hockey presented by Rio Tinto. If you're out driving and something happens to your car, truck, or even wheelchair, and you end up stuck at a rail crossing, it's going to be okay. Don't panic. Here's what you do. Get out if you can and look for this blue sign on the metal pole. Call the number on the blue sign, and when they answer, tell them the crossing number. The number is right here. This tells them the exact location of the crossing. This is the fastest way to get trains stopped before coming through the crossing. Look for the blue. It helps you. I live for my next goal. Whether it's another pick six or another step forward in life, I wouldn't be who I am without the drive to reach it. And I wouldn't be where I am without my team. Everyone on and off the field who supports me and believes in my dreams as much as I do. Whatever your goals are, surround yourself with people who are going to help you reach toward them. Like my friends at America First and see where life takes you. Bryson Martin gets two minutes for hooking. Time of penalty 14.55 into the third period. I thought it was more of a hold than a hook, but I guess hooking is going to be the call on Bryson Martin. What a night for Brandon Cutler. Four goals and two assists. Andrew Nilsson, one goal and two assists. Taron Pfizer, one goal and one assist. And, guys, just been a great offensive performance by the Grizzlies tonight. Yeah, Tyson, it's really been an offensive explosion. And you talk about a guy like Brandon Cutler. This is a guy where it seemed like he was due. You know, he was having really good games, just wasn't really scoring all that much. And now the volcano has just completely erupted. <laughs> Six points in one game. Brandon Cutler, take a bow. Have yourself a night. So I was going to be in the right circle. Grizzlies three for six on the power play. Rapid City is one for four. Rapid City's net is empty. Rush have the puck left side. Shot is blocked. Puck flies high and stays in place somehow. Leader right side shot blocked by Thomas. Thomas towards the corner. And he'll fire it around the boards. Thomas still looking for his first pro goal. Would be fun to get it on an empty net there. As Rapid City drops it off. They get to neutralize. Aliardi over towards Leader. Aliardi gets it. 
As Penner delivers a big hit, puck towards the right corner. As Rapid City six on four, their net is empty. Utah leads six to three. Behind Utah's net, Penner will bounce it off of his stick. Cota gets it. He'll spin it towards the left point. Fans take up a Let's Go Grizzlies chant. Leader over to Karen's one-timer, saved by Miner. And the puck flies out of play off the protective netting. 422 left in the third. 117 left in the Rapid City power play. Listen to that crowd. What a great crowd we have tonight. It's always great being a Maverick Center, but these fans, I'll say, I've said it once and I'll say it again. They're the best in the league. Draws him in the right circle. Grizzlies up to 37 shots. Rapid City has taken 29. Nelson will take the draw for Rapid City against Pfizer. Rapid City wins the draw over to Aliardi. Shot saved by Miner. Aliardi throws it up top. Puck exits his own. Out to center ice. Grizzlies battle. Utah trying to take the puck away. Grizzlies do. Right side. They'll feed it around the net. Pfizer on the near side. Rapid City over there. And Nikolaev keeps the puck away from Pfizer. As it goes back to Nelson. Four minutes and counting left in the third as Nelson right wing crosses center ice. Now step over the line with good speed. Nelson around towards Nikolaev in the left side. He'll drop it off for Aliardi. Left point, Aliardi will feed it towards the left corner. Now back to Aliardi, who's sporting a beard. He'll get it up top for Zolsdorf in the high slot. Across to Nelson in the right side. Nelson feathers out in front. Siren pass shot and a score. As Nelson found Keanu Yamamoto out in front of the net, who one time tapped it past Trent Minor. With 3.39 left in the third, it's now a 6-4 game. Keanu Yamamoto gets his ninth goal of the season. Good pass by Logan Nelson, who gets his 19th assist of the season. Very aggressive there with Rapid City pulling Carlson. Obviously down three goals, what he got to lose at that point. Carlson is now in net with 3.39 left, and I imagine if the rush get back in the offensive zone, Carlson might leave again. Yeah, Tyson, they were playing with house money, and it paid off for him. Now it's a two-goal game. Four goals against Minor, but I don't really think any of them have really been his fault. I think he still really had a good game. Carlson's now off again as Grizzlies clear it out. Chasing after it's Martel. No icing. It's Martel in the corner. Collides with Kenton Helgeson. As we got 320 left in the third. 6-4. Rapid City's net is empty as the Grizzlies have the lead. Brandon Cutler's got a point in all six of the goals. As Fitz loses his stick as he goes flying towards the Rapid City bench. Matt Marshall can't believe it, but it looks like it's going to be a penalty on the rush. Slashing's the call. 3-11 left in the third. And the Grizzlies get a break there. It's looked like Rapid City had some momentum, but Pitts' stick went flying, and Marshall gets a slashing penalty. Yeah, Tyson penalty there, and it, it goes in the Grizzlies' favor. We've seen a lot of penalties here towards the end of this game. We've seen tempers flare, and I think that's why we've seen a lot of penalties. But also remember, we've got two officials in this game. So last night you asked me if having two officials resulted in more penalties and I answered, I think that just gives you more decisiveness on calls. I feel bad for Roger Horn, who's giving me and the Rap Sea broadcaster, Brian Gardner, the details of the goals and penalties. Roger looks like he's very tired. There's been a lot of goals and a lot of penalties tonight. Arsenal Tements for slashing 16-49 into the third period. On the Rap City goal, that was their fourth of the game, 16-21. And Yamamoto is ninth of the year. Logan Nelson, Ryan Zolsdorf with the assist. Grizzlies win the draw. Shot, it's the pipe. As Cameron right over to Aaron Tho, back to right. He's on the left side of the circle. Now to Jamison. He feeds it back to Cutler on the right side, up top for Pfizer. Back to Cutler on the right side near the boards. Cutler skates towards the right corner. As he's on the far side, he'll chip it across to Jamison. Jamison tries to feather it out in front to right. Now goes back to Cutler on a pass from Jamison. As Cutler skates towards his left. Cutler now on the left side, stops near the boards. Cutler, plenty of room. He skates towards the left circle, up top for Tho. It bounced off his stick and goes... Out to neutral ice. As Pfizer up ahead to Cutler. The linesman says the Grizzlies are offside. The 233 left in the third. 122 left in the Grizzlies power play. Tristan Terran Pfizer has a heck of a shot. And he came oh so close to getting a goal there. He just rang the pipe, rang the dinner bell. And the Grizzlies <laughs> just couldn't get that one in there. But Terran Pfizer has also had himself a heck of a game. In a game where he left in the first period, which looked like it's going to be a serious injury. Came back later on in that period and had himself a heck of a game. One goal and one assist for Pfizer. As Rapid City eventually gets the face off and throws it towards the Utah blue line. Gathered by Bryce Martin, who skates around Miner's net. Martin got good size and speed. 
Sophia to the right side. The rooster skates towards the right circle. He stops, waits for everybody else to enter the zone. Now to Shearer, across to Raby, just outside the left circle. Back up top for Shearer. Shearer in the left point, over to Raby in the left corner. Back up top for Shearer. Shearer over towards Martin, back to Shearer. Now Raby in the left side, throws it up top for Shearer. Shearer surveys, now he dishes to the right side for Martin. Martin, back to Martell on the right side. Martell skates towards the points, which is placed with Shearer. Now Martell will skate towards his left. He's just outside the circle. Now across to Shearer, but it was towards his backhand, so he couldn't do much with it. Now Raby across to Martin, back to Martell, back to Martin. 20 seconds left in the power play. Actually, it's 33 seconds. And Shearer, slot, shot, saved by Carlson. Rebound goes out to the far side. Rush moving ahead to Roy Karen. So we'll tap it into the Grizzlies zone. Trent Miner skates out towards the near circle, and he'll feed it across. But it looks like it's going to be icing on the Grizzlies with 131 left in the third. A lot of aggressive moves by goaltenders tonight. Yeah, Tyson, I don't think I had Trent Miner icing the puck on the bingo card for tonight, <laughs> but in a game where it seems like anything can happen, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not out of the ordinary for a game like this. Right, what a crazy game this has been. 20 seconds left in the Grizzlies power play, and Adam Carlson is out. He's on the bench right now, 5-on-5 five five with Rapid City's net empty, 131 here in regulation. Utah leads 6-4. to four. Grizz win the draw as Dakota Raby might pick to click tonight. Gets hit along the near wall. Aliardi gets the puck. He skates towards the right circle. Dish it up top for Wickers. He takes a shot that's blocked by Martell. Martell over to Raby across the center ice. He gets it poked away by Wickers. Raby gets it back. Fanned on a shot. Wickers takes the puck away. As Rapid City is back at full strength. As Wickers behind the net. Battles with Martell. He gets it. And he'll move it ahead to Aliardi. Aliardi, three on two, steps over the line with good speed, drops it off for Nikolaya. Nikolai back to Aliardi to the side of the net. The net gets dislodged. 57 seconds left in regulation. Still six to four. It seems like these nets are a little loose tonight, huh? Yeah, it does seem like it. It's not just Carlson who knocked it over three times. It's probably the second or third time that Miners knocked his over, too. Got a great crowd here tonight of 7,382. We're expected an even bigger crowd for Guns and Hoses night. Your tickets to UtahGrizzlies.com for what really should be a fun day of hockey. The two charity games, 1 o'clock and 2.30, and then Grizzlies take on the rush at 7.10. Yeah, Guns oh. and Hoses is going to be a lot of fun. I'm excited for those uh, specialty jerseys. Looks like Scott Burt's going to use his one timeout. We'll keep it here. It's 6-4 to four Grizzlies. As Ryan can ask which Grizzlies head coach will get the clipboard out and talk with his unit. You got out the clipboard during the second intermission yourself to describe a goal. That's right, I did. And I, I figure it's probably the same thing that Canasta, which did in practice, but said, hey, this is what we're going to draw up. This is the play that we want to do on the power play. Just win this face off. This is what we want to execute. And the Grizzlies went out and they did just that, just like I drew up on the board in the second intermission. Grizzlies really have had a heck of a game. And I think that goes to Coach Canasiewicz, Coach Pike. And every single one of these Grizzlies players, they came out and they came to play and they made a statement tonight. Seeing the YMCA here, that's a tradition that's lasted for about as long as the building's been around. You going to do the YMCA right now? Yeah. Oh, well. oh I thought they were going to. There we go. Draws me in the left circle. The only thing I hate about this camera is it's reminded me I probably picked up about five pounds over the last week. I need to get back on a Stairmaster nah, it's, or something. It's just a bad angle. It's right. a lower angle. Rapid City's net is empty. Six for, for Rapid City. Five for the Grizzlies. Trent Miner. Rush win the draw. Nelson over to Karens. Back over to Aliardi. Took a shot that goes wide. McDonald will bounce it off of Karens. It's behind Utah's net. Over to Corey Thomas, who will throw up back towards Pfizer. Goes to center ice. Logan Nelson will drift a right-wing pass over to Aliardi, who fires it in. It bounced off the American First Credit Union sign as Mar Snow. Escape behind the net. He'll feed it up top. Zolsdorf over to Karens. Back towards the middle. Pass ahead to Pennery. Tried to clear it out. Zolsdorf kept it in. Aliardi in the left corner up top for Zolsdorf. It glanced off his stick and goes out of the zone. Zolsdorf throws it out to center ice. And as Brooks, two goals for Rapid City tonight. He'll bounce it off the boards. McDonald skates towards the end wall. He gets hit by Brooks. As the rush tried to feed it out in front to Aliardi. Aliardi tried to nudge it across to Brooks. Passes behind him. Pender will throw it out to center ice. Looking for Pfizer. Pfizer, can he get it to Cutler? Pfizer goes down. Cutler gets the puck. He skates around the net. Cutler looking for the empty net. He gets stripped up, and time runs out. 
Brandon Cutler couldn't get his fifth goal of the game, but it doesn't matter. Grizzlies win. Grizzlies win 6-4, to four, and there was no doubt about it as Brandon Cutler had an amazing game with four goals and two assists. Andrew Nelson had one goal and two assists. Karen Pfizer, one goal and one assist. And Trent Miner gets his fifth victory in the month of January as he stops 27 of 31. Sweet victory for the Grizzlies indeed as Grisby waves the flag as Utah has won each of the first two games this series. And Utah has now won three in a row. Guy, what can you say about Brandon Cutler? It's about the best performance I've seen here at home in quite some time. Well, Tyson, there's not a lot of words that can describe Brandon Cutler's performance. Uh, just unbelievable, unreal, fantastic. I mean, I, the, the list goes on and on. I mean, this guy really had himself a heck of a game tonight. And I think that all the Grizzlies players ought to pitch together and buy him dinner, get him a nice steak, tip him down the hook and reel, take him somewhere nice because Brandon Cutler, what a one-man effort in this game. But really, the whole team played well. When we come back, we'll give you the three stars of the game and have the post-game show. Post-game show starts in 30 seconds on the Grizzlies Hockey Network. I live for my next goal. Whether it's another pick six or another step forward in life, I wouldn't be who I am without the drive to reach it. And I wouldn't be where I am without my team. Everyone on and off the field who supports me and believes in my dreams as much as I do. Whatever your goals are, Surround yourself with people who are going to help you reach toward them. Like my friends at America First and see where life takes you. Why well, Brandon Cutler almost had to the, his fifth goal of the game empty on the empty net, but just ran out of time. Doesn't matter, though. He just ended up with, what, four goals and two assists. Penalty minutes really racked up for both teams. Grizzlies ended up with 31 penalty minutes to wrap seas 29. My well, special teams were good for both teams. Rapid City two for six on the power play. And Utah was three for seven. Three stars of the game is announced by Chris Hagen, the Grizzlies PA announcer. Our three stars are for the Grizzlies tonight. Third star with one goal and one assist. He blocked a shot early in the contest, and we weren't sure if he was going to come back and play. Not only come back and play, but Terran Pfizer gets a multiple point game. He's the third star. He's a plus two and had three shots. Number two star is out of uniform, as happened. He got tossed about 10 minutes into the third period. He got a misconduct for continuing altercation and cross-checking minor. Andrew Nelson on the bench as he waves both hands in the air to get the crowd fired up. Nelson tosses a T-shirt into Section 126. What a game for Andrew Nelson. One goal and two assists. He had 14 penalty minutes. It was a plus two and had three shots. Well, the number one star was Brandon Cutler. All he did was have four goals and two assists. Chris Hagen says he had five points. He actually had six. That's so many that Chris lost count. <laughs> That's how many points he scored. You lose count. Brandon Cutler skates towards section 125 and tosses a T-shirt into the seats. As Brandon Cutler is going to be interviewed here at Maverick Center by Mary Luz. Let's listen in. That's Brandon Cutler. We don't know if you really hear much of that, but nevertheless, he's the number one star of the game, four goals and two assists. Well, there's a lot of scoring to be recapped here tonight. Grizzlies got on the board first. Utah's got a pretty good record this season when scoring first. In fact, the Grizzlies are 12-3 and three when scoring first. Brandon Cutler unassisted, 10-54 into the contest. It was a five-on-five -five goal. He scored from the left point. Rush tied it up, 17-18 into the first. As Calder Brooks got a 16th of the year. Matt Marshall and Roy Karens with the assist. 
Score is tied at one after 20 minutes of play. Taryn Pfizer got a power play goal, 9-14. And his 11th of the year, Brandon Cutler and Cameron Wright with the assist. And then 11-14 into the second. It was a five-on-five goal. It was Brandon Cutler's second of the game, seventh of the season. Pfizer and Fitz with the assist. At that point, starting goaltender Danil Chechilev was pulled from the game, replaced by Adam Carlson. Chechilev stopped 18 of 21. Adam Carlson came in and stopped 14 of 17. There were, I thought, two fights. Zach uh, Keegan Iverson and Corey Thomas got in a fight, 12:48, and then Connor McDonald got in a fight with Zach Court. Two fights simultaneously. However, McDonald just got a roughing minor, and Zach Court got a double minor for roughing. So the Grizzlies got on the power play with a three to one game, and then Brandon Cutler scored from the left circle to complete the hat trick, 13:51 into the second. So many fans in attendance, but I didn't see that many hats being thrown on the ice. So a lot of people probably brought nicer hats to the game to make sure that they've kept them on their head. And so Cutler gave the Grizzlies a 4-1 to one lead. Rapid City scored 17-21 as Calder Brooks got his second of the game and 17th of the year. Kenton Helgeson and Rory Karens with the assists. Grizzlies led 4-2 to two after two periods. Utah extended the lead. 206 into the third for Cutler's fourth of the game. Sure and Nilsson with the assist. And then Rapid City scored 625 in. It was a power play goal. Lucas Fute got it on a rebound from a Nikolaev shot. Alex Aliardi also with an assist. So that made it a 5 to 3 game. And then Andrew Nilsson with a blast in the right point. They got past Carlson. It was a power play goal for Utah. They went three for seven on the power play tonight. And for Nelson, it was his sixth of the year. Cutler picked up an assist. So Brandon Cutler had a, a point in all six of the Grizzlies' goals, four goals and two assists. Rapid City scored a power play goal, 16-21 into the third as Yamamoto got his ninth of the year. Nelson and Zolsdorf with the assist. So Rapid City went two for six on the power play. So the Grizzlies came into play over the last 11 games, only allowing two power play goals, and they allowed two here tonight as Rapid City went two for six on the power play. But... You know, Utah outshot Rapid City 38-31, to 31, and the big difference was Brandon Cutler, four goals, and well, if there was another five seconds of this game, he probably would have scored a fifth one, either him or Taron Pfizer. The time just ran out, but, hey, still an amazing performance by Brandon Cutler. To recent memory, I think the last time a Grizzly player had four goals was Charlie Girard back on June. It was the last game of the regular season back in 2021, and uh, Girard, if I remember right, had four goals earlier that month. Travis Barron had four goals, and certainly thanks to Kathleen Boynton for reminding us about the Travis Burton, uh, about the Travis Barron four goal performance. He's actually playing in the AHL with the Tucson Roadrunners now. That's where her former Grizzly broadcaster Adrian Denny is calling games now, and uh, three of those goals were shorthanded. That's what made that night special. And I don't remember, I don't recall a Grizzly player having four goals last season. Uh, last season, even though there was a lot of great individual performances. And so I think it's the first time the Grizzlies had a four-goal performance since that Charlie Girard game. And what can you say? You know, Cutler came in to play five goals in 15 games this year, four goals and two assists tonight. It was was a dominating performance for sure. Yeah, Tyson, I mean, it was a dominating performance by Brandon Cutler. I mean, he factored in on each of the goals, so four goals, two assists. Uh, But I think the bigger thing is, is that I thought that the Grizzlies as a team played really well tonight and you know Brandon Cutler's performance is kind of going to overshadow that and it's well deserved great performance by him but I really thought that the entire team as a whole played really well I thought all three forward lines did a really good job Uh, I thought the Grizzlies defense did really well and the penalty kill while they only while they let in two goals I thought that uh, they did a fantastic job for what they were given I mean you throw them out six times in a game eventually you know if you are going to go in so and even the power play. The power play was really good. Yeah. And I thought Trent Miner had a really solid performance despite letting in four. I don't really think any of those were, were all his faults. So a really solid effort from top to bottom for the Grizzlies. So they won the first two games of the series. Their winning streak is now at three games. And well, it's going to be interesting to see what happens tomorrow. Third and final game of the series, Guns and Hoses night. We had an outstanding crowd of 7,382. And we're probably going to have a better better and bigger crowd, believe it or not, for Guns and Hoses night. So we're talking about a great atmosphere tonight. It's going to be a great atmosphere tomorrow. And the Grizzlies go for the sweep against a really good Rapid City team who's now at the 500 mark at 20-20-1. The Grizzlies with the victory tonight. 
now have a record of 18, 20, and 1. And they're just two points removed from Kansas City for fourth place in the Mountain Division. And that's important because the top four seeds in each division make the postseason. Yeah, Tyson, I think, well, number one, Guns and Hoses is going to be so much fun. I'm, yeah. I'm really looking forward to that, especially jerseys, the charity games, just the atmosphere. It's going to be incredible. But you talk about the Grizzlies having the chance to potentially sweep the rush in this series. That is huge because coming into this series, the rush seemed like miles away from the Grizzlies in the standings. Now, if the Grizzlies end up sweeping the rush, they'd be only two points behind them in the standings. And you think about the Mountain Division standings right now, the Grizzlies are in fifth. But if Kansas City loses once again, they'd be tied with them and then potentially being two points behind Rapid City. The race gets really, really close, and the Grizzlies are playing great hockey right now. They're a dangerous team. I don't think anybody in the Mountain Division would want to see them in the playoffs. It was great to see them play well in the month of January. I mean, December was a pretty tough month. I mean, after all, they did have to face Idaho quite a bit. But in December, the Grizzlies went 3-9. and nine. Here in January, the Grizzlies are 7-3-1. and one. And they got one more game here in the month of January, and that's tomorrow night against Rapid City. 650 pregame show, 710 face off. There's still a few tickets available. Go to utahgrizzlies.com and take advantage as it's guns and hoses night, and you're going to want to be here for the great atmosphere. And if you're coming to the game tomorrow, you want to get here a little bit early. As you want you want to make sure to beat traffic and get here for face off and you know make a whole day out of it and come to the two charity games earlier in the day. Yeah, Tyson, that's right. A lot of fun going to be happening at Maverick Center. And by the way, those jerseys that the Grizzlies wore in warm-ups tonight, those are the jerseys that they will be wearing tomorrow for Guns and Hoses. Those are the specialty jerseys, and i got to say, they look pretty sharp. Yeah, and do. so if you want to get your hands on one of those, you can. You can go to the Dash Auction app tomorrow, and you can bid on a jersey player game worn. Game worn. It could be yours. So oh. go, to the, go to the app and uh, make a bid if you're interested. Tyson, I think those are really sharp. Oh, which player would you want to get? There's a lot of really good options. It's too bad they didn't wear those tonight with Brandon Cutler putting on the performance that he did. Oh, that jersey would have gone for an insane amount of money. Oh, my goodness. Still probably get a Brandon Cutler jersey. He's played with three separate AHL teams. I would go with Victor Bartley just with the NHL experience he has. And, you know, Nilsson certainly would be a good one to get. I think any jersey that, you know, would be good to get, especially with this unit that the Grizzlies have this year. Tyson, I agree, and I think this this is a really special team, and I think uh, I think they're better than their record says they are. Yeah. And I, I think they really went through a tough stretch where they were losing guys that were getting plucked from here and going to Colorado for the Eagles. Uh, they were losing guys to injury, and it seems like they weren't really having their way. We saw lines getting juggled. It seemed like every single night, Coach Kanachwich was trying to find out which guy worked where, and there just wasn't a lot of chemistry going on. And so now we're at a point where the guys are back. Most of the guys are healthy. We're still waiting on Sekos and Walker. Yeah. But, I mean, this is a unit right now that's – that Yeah, McCall Chuck. Uh, th these are guys that are really starting to gel together. And we saw the chemistry that the third line has. Now the first line with Cutler and Pfizer is looking amazing. I mean, this is a Grizzlies team that down the stretch is going to be really dangerous because now they're playing their best hockey and they're looking like the team that we expected them to look like. And they've got a ton of games here at home. They're now 8-8 eight and eight at home and – and they're starting to play their best hockey. You know, you get Rapid City tonight. Then you got Allen for three straight. And Allen's kind of struggled a little bit, even though they beat Tulsa tonight. As Allen's in sixth place in the division. You know, can they find a way to play well next week? And then before you know it, back on the road for six straight for six straight games. But most of the teams are facing on that road trip don't necessarily have a great win-loss record. Two games against Rapid City over the Monument, February 10th and 11th, and then Greenville and Savannah for one game each, and then Orlando. Well, it's a fun stretch here for the Grizzlies. And then you think about once that six-game road trip is over, I mean, you're talking about the majority of these games during the final two months of the regular season being played here at Maverick Center. And well, I, I really like the prospects of the Grizzlies here in the second half of the season. Yeah, Tyson, me too. And we've been saying that for the last couple of weeks, and now it's starting to become a reality. You mentioned the Allen Americans coming into tonight. They were 7-3 and three in their last couple of games, last 10 games. They've been playing good hockey recently, and they won again tonight in overtime against the Oilers 5-4. to four. And we talked about the Kansas City Mavericks earlier. They were also winners tonight. They beat the Wheeling Nailers at home 3-2. to two. So that Mountain Division race, it's going to come down to the wire. And it, the key is, is can, are the Grizzlies going to be able to win games at home well now they break even with their home record and they got a lot of games here left at maverick center if they get any crowd like they did tonight i really like their chances who won that wichita idaho game uh looks like the steelheads won three to one so the thunder go down to 23 15 and three thunder have had a pretty good year and they're in second place in the division and you know, idaho obviously has been first in first place the whole 
campaign, but you know, the Grizzlies are playing about as well as anybody right now, especially in the month of January. And as we mentioned, it's a far cry from what it was in December. And so I think the big thing for the Grizzlies, you know, they had the three power play goals, but they're playing better five on five over the last week or so. Yeah. And that's one of the questions that we had for, it seemed like a long stretch of the season was could the Grizzlies score five on five because the power play was doing really well, but that was where the Grizzlies seemed to only get their scoring. Now the power play is clicking, but they're also able to score five on five, which is really good to see. And I think that's happening because one, we're seeing a lot of chemistry between the lines that Canas, which is throwing out there. And two, we're seeing a lot of guys return like Brandon Cutler. Uh, we're seeing guys really step up like Cameron Wright and guys acquired through trade like Jordan Marto who's looked really nice. He should have had a goal tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Ended up just hitting the post with a wide open net. You got to feel bad for him. But the Grizzlies are really coming onto their own right now and they're going to be a dangerous team down the stretch. Well, I got to imagine the pick to click winner is Brandon Cutler. Anybody pick Cutler? Well, yeah, here's the controversy. Well, 71 so, Cowboys decide to have some fun and, and mention so, Brandon yeah, see, Cutler late. His, his initial pick was Dylan Fitz. Because we go up here, right, and we see Dylan Fitz. He shows up at 710 and he says, pick to click Dylan Fitz. Hi, all. Well, hi, 71 Cowboys. And we go down to the second intermission, 906. By the way, hats off to Colby. He might be the winner tonight. He yeah, gave us Coca-Cola. Col Colby's, Colby's got to be a winner, but... 71 Cowboys, I'm sorry about what happened to the Cowboys. I know you're upset, but you can't just change your pick-to-click winner midway <laughs> through, the sec, uh, you know, through the second intermission. So I'll give you acknowledge. I'll, I'll say, hello, 71 Cowboys. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Um, you got to make your picks in the pregame. And, hey, listen. He knows that, too. He, he, was, he was just he, joking. And, uh, yeah, it's funny. It's funny. But, but listen, if you want to make your pick-to-click, show up for the Grizzlies pregame. We have, a, we have a good talk during the Grizzlies pregame. It's a, it's a great stuff to uh, show up for. So come up. Uh, show up in the pregame, make your pick to click, rake it on social media. Now we, we got to tw check Twitter or something. Yeah. But uh, if, if you post your pick to click, Cutler during the certainly did go beast mode tonight. Yeah, he did. But I mean, if if you make your pick to click during the second intermission, <laughs> I don't know, there's something <laughs> it's fishy a, about it's that. It's a little too late, but you know, it's. I was thinking about taking Cutler. I ended up going with Dakota Rabu. I think played well tonight, even though. Didn't necessarily show up in points. Um, your pick to click tonight, though, who'd you go with? I, we'll, we both picked the same player. Oh, that's we, right. We both we, picked Raby. See, because you tweeted on Twitter, and, and that in that moment, I picked Dakota Raby. I didn't see your tweet. I didn't even get my tweet off. And <laughs> then later on, you asked me, who'd you pick? And I said, Dakota Raby. And you were like, oh, oh crap. I also picked Dakota <laughs> Raby. And so uh, I thought Raby was noticeable tonight. Um, but really, it was the Brandon Cutler show. I mean, it's his world, and we're just living in it right now. He had yeah. a really fantastic game. But, um, you know, it's it's just the way it is sometimes. I mean, Brandon Cutler, what a dominant performance. Cutler's got six goals and two assists in his last three games. So it's it's been unbelievable. And Cameron Wright with two assists tonight. Don't forget about him. Uh, he now has eight goals and four assists in the month of January. So he leads the Grizzlies with 12 points in the month. And he's been a constant for the Grizzlies here over the last month and a half. He's certainly played outstanding. and. Trent Miner once again getting the victory as his record now goes to 8-10 and 1 on the season. He is now 5-0 and 1 in his last six starts. Any final thoughts before we head out of here? We got a big one here tomorrow as the Grizzlies look for the sweep. Yeah, Tyson, it's going to be a big game tomorrow. It's going to be a lot of fun. So go get your tickets if you're in the area. If you haven't already, come on down to Maverick Center. See the charity games. Get your merch. Maybe make a bid on those jerseys. Watch some fantastic hockey, man. This was a very entertaining game. Really, really fun to watch. And it got very spirited towards the end. We yep. saw a lot of animosity. We saw a lot of hits, a lot of fights, a lot of penalties. I expect that to carry over into tomorrow night. That certainly won't go away. So I think we got another good one coming up tomorrow. Now the post game story at utahgrizzlies.com. It's being typed up as we speak by Kiki Crum. We'll see that and we'll have a good night here. You know, we'll have a good evening and then we'll come back here tomorrow and have some fun. We, we probably aren't going to sleep much tonight, let's face it. But yes, Brandon Cutler did go beast mode tonight as he had four goals and two assists. To my recent memory, first four, four goal performance since Charlie Girard back in the final game of the 2020 21 regular season. Although we got to look back to see if anybody scored four goals uh, earlier uh, this season. The six points by Cutler tied for the lead this season as Andrew Nilsson had six assists against Kansas City in the first Saturday of November as Utah got a big victory and Grizzlies were unbelievable on the power play that night. And so, yeah, it's just one of those memorable performances that I think every fan that left the building is going to remember. They're going to remember Brandon Cutler's six-point six performance against Rapid City. Yeah, Tyson, and I think just to add to that, you want to talk about memories. 
Uh, this is a great atmosphere to come take you know your family to, get some kids, teach them about hockey, go down and make memories like tonight. I know a lot of family. We had a great attendance tonight, and I know a lot of kids will be going home tonight with a with a really, really a uh, really awesome memory in their minds. So, uh, like I said before, if you haven't already, get your tickets. Come on down here on Saturday night. We want to see you here for Guns and Hoses. Fun, affordable, fun, affordable family entertainment here at Maverick Center. And Grizzlies are playing some great hockey, and it's certainly a lot of fun when the Grizzlies face the Rapid City Rush. You're a pretty good hockey team in their own right. Grizzlies won three in a row. They look to make it four in a row here on Saturday night for Guns and Hoses night. Once again, in two hours and 38 minutes, in front of 7,382, it was the Brandon Cutler show. Four goals and two assists. Andrew Nilsson had one goal and two assists. Taron Fizer had one goal and one assist. Cameron Wright also had a multiple point game. He had two assists, and that's Cameron Wright's seventh multiple point game this season, which lead all Grizzlies forwards. Rap City had two goals from Calder Brooks and Keanu Yamamoto and Lucas Fuke each found the back of the net. Roy Karens had two assists for the rush. Trent Miner gets the victory as his record goes to 8-10-1 this season. And we'll be back here at Maverick Center tomorrow night, 6.50 pregame show, 7-10 faceoff. Once again, for Guy Carenza, I'm Tyson Whiting, and it is what it is.